Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Uh, let's continue with some space exploration. And here we have a little prototype I whipped up. Uh, it is a Phonestra dispatch system. Let's see, we've got... We should have a few ships heading for Phoenestra right now. Uh, that one's outbound. This one is headed for Phoenestra with no resources. That's what I want to see. Uh, 1700 distance. I want to see when the next one is coming. Um, 3400. Matrim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now I'll catch more than five minutes. Yes, indeed. Um, so we've got two stations here. This is at Foenestra. Um, oh, here's one now. It's actually going back home. Oh, crap. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, no. Um, I guess I'll hitch a ride. On, on this, for, for the moment. Um, that's, that's a little bit awkward. Um, can I get into a spot where I can look at different things and not die? No, I think I need to pick up this wall. Okay, uh, so all of our ships look exactly like this. Um, these are little cheat ships, obviously, just for testing purposes. Infinite energy and infinite fuel. Uh, on the red wire coming from the uh, spaceship clamp pass-throughs, that goes to the console input. And we've also got the usual signals here. Um, anchor using spaceship clamp right, ID 1. And target clamp is negative 1. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the different thing about this ship is we've got a memory cell. Uh, and we actually change the target clamp ID as it goes from one place to the next. So currently, uh, the default clamp ID is negative one, um, and we've pulsed a value of five uh, anchor to target left clamp ID uh, into this memory cell, which is just, uh, has its own input linked to its own output. So it'll hold onto this type of signal in particular, that'll just go round and round in circles. Um, and we're outputting the result of that onto the red wire. So negative one plus five equals target ID of four. Um, because we're carrying coal core fragments uh, back at Nervous Orbit, I think it's this one, uh, the anchor using spaceship left clamp ID, uh, the ID here is four. So this ship is going to clamp at this spot in particular. Then it's going to go back to Foenestra. Um, and you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but I'm using set requests on our buffer chests. So we can't actually read from that directly on the green wire. Uh, what we're doing instead is reading from a specific isolated logistic network, um, and if it detects that there's no coal core fragments left, uh, then the spaceship's going to take off. Uh, coal core fragments that are in the uh, blue requester chests don't get counted by the logistic network, since they're not going anywhere. Um, so we got green wire, because we're outputting negative a million uh, anchor to target left clamp so that we reset this memory cell right here. Once that drops below zero, it's going to stop working. Um, 
and then at the same time, uh, once cold core fragments equals zero, output everything input count, that everything is what you see here. Spaceship launch destination is Foenestra. Um, that happened quite quickly because we've got super logistic bots. Um, but the ship is now empty. It's headed back to Foenestra. The um, target left clamp ID, if you look on the red wire here, is negative one. So once we get to Foenestra, um, that is going to be this, uh, this spaceship berth right here. And so basically we've got a ship berth for outbound ships and a ship berth for inbound ships um, so that they don't get in each other's way. Um, we can ignore that. That's just a pulse generator for messing around and debugging uh, this stuff. But basically what we've got here is on the one signal receiver channel, we're receiving information from all of our outposts. We've got a bunch of arbitrary pairs of signal to represent um, uh, outpost number zero has X many uh, stacks of cargo available, um, and A is the count of how many ships are currently on the way to outpost zero. Um, so how that works is we're constantly transmitting uh, from the outpost just whatever resource it is divided by stack size output signal zero. Um, and then over here we're constantly receiving that, but we've got a memory cell. Um, so we're, for signal A for the spaceship count. So we're using a constant signal to keep track of uh, cargo space, or how much cargo we've got, rather, and a counter to keep track of how many ships are sending there, uh, being, uh, are on the way there already, on the same wire. Once the, uh, once there's 256 stacks of cargo available for pickup, um, we use the anything signal to pick just one of these, uh, just one of these destinations that has 256 slots available. Whenever you go output anything, it's going to pick just one signal to send out. So we've now got one ship on the way to, uh, uh, signal zero, um, which is, I think the planet is called Algia. Uh, one ship on the way to Algia currently. And we take the count of how many ships are on their way to each uh, destination and subtract how many uh, stacks the ship can pick up and basically subtract that from the count of how many stacks of inventory are available. So that is, you can see pointing at the uh, substation here, um, excluding what's already been reserved, there's 120 slots, uh, cargo stacks of stuff available at outpost number zero. 260 are available at outpost number one. That just dropped to 10 because we just sent, you can see the signal B just appeared. Uh, we just sent a ship to outpost number one. Um, so I've got like zero and A, one and B, two and C. You could use whatever arbitrary pair of signals you like, but if you want to do it this way and have just one uh, signal receiver for the lot of them, um, you're just going to have to pick some arbitrary signals to represent those. Um, so we could pretty easily do like, what, 10, 16, 17, 18, I guess, if we're just using numbers and letters. 
Um, we could have 18 outposts without running out of arbitrary signals to use without starting to dig into something that is a bit more arbitrary, shall we say? Once, uh, once one of these outposts is, uh, like outpost zero right now has 256 slots available of, uh, 256 stacks of resources. Uh, so we're currently outputting that one to these two decided combinators right here. Uh, if signal zero greater than zero, if signal one greater than zero, output everything. And that's just going to be destination plus spaceship launch. That goes to the red wire that goes to the console input on the spaceship. Um, and if destination is this one, um, as in the one that corresponds to outpost zero, uh, signal A times one gets pulsed uh, to increment out count here. And the way we pulse that is we can detect if a ship is leaving or departing um, by and pulsing it just once by getting some signal that we can count on, in this case, antimatter stream. Uh, if that's greater than zero, output green signal one. And then we've got, at the same time, output red signal one, and then delay that by one tick by running it through one more combinator. So one tick after the spaceship gets here, uh, we're outputting the green signal here, and two ticks after the ship gets here, uh, we're outputting red signal. Burgers and fries, thanks for the raid. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Welcome, Raiders. Is there a way to assign filter insert a choice? Uh, what do you mean by that? Um, so depending on if we say green is greater than red or red is greater than green, um, with this same set of uh, combinators coming off of the green wire here, we can detect... Uh, we can trigger something on the condition that either the spaceship arrived or the spaceship is leaving. Um, the green signal comes out one tick after the spaceship uh, is here. The red signal comes out one uh, two ticks after the spaceship is here. So if the spaceship leaves, um, the red signal is going to persist for one tick longer as well. Hiyo. Woot, you're already in space with ships? Uh, not quite, Ascend Um I've been playing with a, uh, a sandbox, a lab save. Uh, and I've actually come up with a prototype that is sending ships. Uh, we, we've got a dispatch system. This is at Foenestra, so spoiler alert. Um, Foenestra is an even 10,000 distance from every solar system. So you can save a lot of travel time by putting Foenestra between yourself and your destination, basically. Like putting down a blueprint with a blank filter inserter and based on the res resource on a belt, for example, the inserter will be si assigned to that resource. Oh, sure. You can just, uh... Uh, let's see, filter inserter. Uh, you've got set filters on a filter inserter. Uh, you can use that to set whitelist or blacklist. And then you just feed it a signal. Uh, any signal that is zero or less doesn't get counted. And any signal that's greater than zero uh, will be counted. So... If we put something on this belt, for example, we'll just give it some, I don't know, uh, spaceship console. Uh, if we put something on this, 
once the once the belt reads it, it'll set the filter to that uh, inserter. What's the point of a filter inserter in this case, though? Um, I don't know. So currently, oh, we got a bit ahead of ourselves on the ship that I happen to be on. Uh, so back to Foenestra. So once we've um, once we've got a ship here, and there's uh, at least two fifty six stacks of resource available at one of our outposts. Uh, and we send it to one of those outposts, and then we detect that the ship has left, we increment the count of how many ships are on their way to that outpost, and then let's see if I can find one. I want an empty one that's outbound to Algia, or they're all, they're all, they're all not outbound at the moment. Or if they're outbound, some of them are coming from Nalvis Orbit to Foenestra. Uh, let's see. What's your deal? Empty going to Foenestra. Perfect. What's the distance? Um, position? Star gravity well. Oh, we're still in the solar system. This one, perhaps? Here we go. A bit over 5,000 for ship... Four. This one's full. This one is a bit closer. Ship two. And ship one is actually much closer. Okay, so once this reaches 10,000, uh, ship one is going to arrive at Foenestra. Uh, it looks like both of our outposts are totally full at the moment and don't have any ships on the way to them. Um, because I'm only using an anything signal to pick one of these signals, there is one downside to this system so far, which is you're going to have to make sure there's enough spaceships. Um, it won't prioritize. So it's just going to send this ship to outpost zero. Um, so now we see 250 stacks are available. And A1 means that one ship is on its way to Outpost 0. Um, so Test Ship 1 is coming from Foenestra to Algia. Uh, once that spatial distortion number goes down to 0, it's going to arrive... Uh, where is it? It's going to arrive here. And then... Uh, and then... It's not quite the last step of our journey. Um, so the ship arrives, we set requests on the buffer chest to whatever resource we're picking up here. Once again, we use the delayed signals, uh, one green for one tick later, red for two ticks later. And then we say, if green is greater than red, that would mean the ship has just arrived. Uh, if the ship has just arrived, output everything input count. Everything input count other than the green and red signals is A negative 1. That gets pulsed to Foenestra. Uh, so A negative 1. We subtract 1 from our count of ships that are on their way to outpost 0. Uh, and we also pulse anchor to target left clamp 2, back into the ship. So that travels to this mem memory cell right here. Um, so we're going to have our anchor to target left clamp is going to go from negative 1, uh, plus what's on this memory cell, which is going to output to the red wire. Uh, that's going to be 2. So then we're going to have a uh, anchor to target left clamp signal total going into the spaceship console of one, which means when it goes back to uh, Foenestra, it'll be coming to this spaceship berth instead of this one. Uh, Sway Daddle, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. 
Um, filter insert of a sushi belt. Hey, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So you want to make Foenestra your hub for interstellar travel because it's closest to all. Yes. Um, so I'll still have the main base somewhere else because Foenestra doesn't have a planet. And if you want productivity bonuses, you need to do certain things on a planet. Um, so what I'm going to look for in our main save is a planet that is preferably, I don't know, maybe preferably oil core fragments so that we don't have any trouble with that. Um, relatively small, but big enough to house a big base, but small enough that the radius, um, you know, the cost of sending things up from orbit isn't that much. Uh, and lastly, as close to the interstellar map as possible. So it's as, as close to Foenestra as possible, uh, effectively. If if there was a planet attached to Foenestra, like uh, Foenestra was the orbit or something, uh, I would probably build a base at Foenestra eventually, even though it's a pain to get power there. Let's go new series. Shack Cat Guitars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought you won't care about Radius because of the elevator. I think Radius might affect the maintenance cost of the elevator, but it's probably... It might be pretty negligible, uh, all things considered, in the long run. Uh, however, before we get to Space Elevator, that's definitely something worth considering. Um, so yeah, once, uh, so once we get here, uh, set requests, core, cryonite core fragments on the ship, uh, pulse in negative one count of ships on the way to this outpost, pulse plus two to the target left clamp, uh, for the spaceship, and once we, oh yeah, we're, we're reading from the roboport because we can't read directly from the set request chests. Um, so we're subtracting uh, whatever is detected in our passive provider chests. Um, we've got the total what's uh, total of what's in the Robo network minus what's in this chest uh, equals what's in the spaceship. Once that is greater than almost completely full, uh, we're going to send the spaceship launch signal back to Foenestra. And then the final step uh, is relatively simple. Uh, so we have another little isolated robo network here so that we can tell what's in the ship. Same thing I just described. We get the contents of the robot network. Um, well, we don't actually have to subtract anything this time. Uh, we get the contents of the robot network. That tells us what's in the ship. If it has core fragments, if it has cryonite core fragments, if it has uh, coal core fragments and so on, we give it a different um, amount to add to the anchor to target left clamp signal so that we can send it back to different drop-off stations um, back at Central. So then all we have to do is... I don't even need this, that was just for debugging. Um, once we've got that figured out, we just need to know when to be able to pulse it in. Uh, because of a little bit of weirdness with the way the ships arrive and you can't just pulse, pulse this in the moment it arrives, um, I just added a little timer here because it takes like a second um, for this to take off anyway. So once a ship is detected, we start a timer. Um, once the ship is not detected, the timer resets. So we got spaceship one, output 
spaceship input count if antimatter stream is detected. Uh, once that reaches exactly 60, and only when it reaches 60, uh, we send through this signal um, of uh, to go to the memory cell to adjust our target left clamp ID. Uh, and once it's greater than 60, we send a spaceship launch and back to Nalvis orbit, for example, uh, signal. And that's basically it for this one. If you stop consuming a resource, won't this get jammed with all ships waiting to land with resource? Uh, not quite. So one of the reasons that I went with this design whereby our spaceships have a memory cell and we change the target left clamp uh, is if we have... Like, I, I, I did a more complicated version at first, sort of, where we had just one... Well, maybe not just one. I think I had one per destination. But supposing we had just one of these and it decided whether it was sending ships outbound or inbound, uh, we could end up with, like, outbound ships that are not getting sent out yet because there's nothing available. Or maybe there's already enough ships sent, sent there already or something like that. Um, blocking ships that are inbound that want to land here. Um, but that can't happen because we've got all of our outbound ships going here, all of our inbound ships going here. Um, if we have way more ships than we need, what we'll eventually end up with is quite a few ships queuing for this spot. And there will be a ship sitting here waiting for orders to be sent to pick up from whichever outpost. All of the inbound ships are just going to land here momentarily and go to Nalvis. And uh, I guess, let's see, let's say we saturate, let's say we've got more coal core fragments than we need. We're going to end up with a few ships uh, picking up coal core fragments and queuing to go back to Nalvis with it. I suppose you could end up with all of your ships queuing to drop off a certain resource. I could add a counting system for sending stuff back to back to central as well if I have to. Yeah, I suppose that's possible. Well, we could actually test this right now. Um Preferably with a resource that's already on its way back. Cryonite. Coal. 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 I think we're going to go with coal. Alright, so let's say... Um, here it is. Let's stop deleting coal here. So we've got exactly one, uh, this is the same as the chest that is on the ship. Uh, so one ship is going to drop off coal here, that's going to fill up, it's not going to be detected by the robot network. And uh, the ship is going to go back to Foenestra, and this won't get deleted. The next one's going to stop here and get stuck basically. And then the next one with coal is going to be waiting for its turn to park here. Uh, maybe I should have gone for cryonite just because signal zero is going to take priority with the arbitrary order of signals using anything, uh, using the anything signal. How high is the fuel consumption of ships that weight in space? Uh, zero. Yeah. Do you need to make sure they don't run out of fuel? Um, unless they are consuming power. That's something I hadn't considered, actually. 
So normally a solar panel or two is more than enough to cover this. Um, if the ship is idling, if it's waiting for its turn to land somewhere, then there is minimum consumption from the engines, laser turrets, and so on. Uh, and it could eventually run out of power. Uh, usually a solar panel or two generates enough energy so that it won't be consuming any fuel, like nuclear fuel or something, uh, for energy. However, at Foenestra, let's see if we can find one on its way to Foenestra. Here we go. Um, I don't actually have, like, a solar panel there. Never mind. Well, I could stop this one for a sec. Uh, at Foe and Estra, we get literally zero. Oh, did they change it? Well, that's still practically zero. <laughs> 4.5 kilowatts from a flat solar panel tier 3. Um, 4.5 kilowatts out of 16 megawatts. Yeah, um, that's... No amount of solar panels is going to be enough to keep our ship idling without consuming, like, nuclear fuel or something uh, while it's parked waiting its turn to go to Foenestra. So they could eventually run out of power. I don't know if... Uh, now that I think of it, if they've already reached their destination, they probably do need power still. Like, I think the one... the one watt or one joule or whatever it is, uh, the power consumption from the spaceship console, it actually says zero watts. So does that mean if we were out of power but already at our destination, it would actually land? Just ensure you have enough landing spots for all ships. Uh, the complicated thing about that is I now have to count ships. I mean, I've already done that. I, I know how to do it, but... Um, I need to... I think I just need to count ships that are on their way back to Central. And we simply... Well, if I count ships... Hmm... We, we have to we have to keep track of that as well and therefore not send ships to pick up coal if there's too many ships already on their way back with coal and then one comes here with coal well, that's too bad we have to send it on otherwise it's going to block the others so yeah I think we have to also count how many ships are on their way back with X y or Z resource. Um, and stop sending ships. Maybe I should just... That's not quite right. Uh, it almost sound like, sounded like I could really simplify it if I just don't uh, reduce the count until instead of at the pickup, it has to get all the way to the drop-off. Alternatively, I could send them back to... No, that wouldn't quite work. Yeah, well, that's interesting. I didn't think of that. But, so, so there's a bit more stuff to add, um, but the prototype, in general, uh, for the most part... I mean, it does work with this uh, example of six ships and two destinations and we're consistently deleting um, all of the resources that come back. As you can see, this coal ship, this ship full of coal right now is not going back to Foenestra. Um, let's see, Nalvis Orbit with coal. Nalvis Orbit, oh it's already there. Foenestra, yeah, I think 
I think you're right, you would eventually get too many ships waiting here. How do I force inserters to put more than two bottles in the lab? Uh, just have a bigger stack size, I think. Mon Freddy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morpheus, putrid one. Good to see you again. Root class, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Thinking just add negative signal from Nalvis, so only a few ships are there. Yeah, I could, like... Instead of also counting how many ships are sent are on their way back to like Nalvis or whatever, um, I could just make sure I have plenty of storage, like let's say four ships worth um, for each outpost, and I could I could not subtract from the count of ships that. Uh, quote-unquote, on their way to that outpost until the ship actually gets back to Nalvis to do the drop-off. So instead of the destination being considered to be the outpost, the, the, the destination is basically Nalvis with extra steps. Good morning. Are we testing new ship delivery system? Yes, indeed. Uh, it is working very, very well, although uh, we did realize that we'll have to add at least one thing to it. Um, who was it? Who, who came up with that? I think it was... I'm surprised how much chat I have to scroll already. Uh, well, good job, anyway. What was that? Oh, right. I think that was the artillery. Yeah, uh, I sort of forgot I had to deal with the biters on this planet and then had to throw some defenses together. Anyway... Uh, just about time to get started with the real game again. Let's go... Kate... Oh, it was, it was this one. Playtime, 28 hours, 44, yes. Okay. Let's get to it. Just joined and thought I missed a bit of tacking up. No, not quite. Midden, Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'll mull it over a bit, but tentatively, I think just uh, subtracting from the count of spaceships only when it actually gets back to Nalvis or wherever central is. That's probably all it's going to take. Uh, Creo Gentleman? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. That's right, we just made this big radar just to see how it goes. Alright, let's, uh, let's figure out where we're up to. I haven't actually tapped into raw rare metals yet. Uh, Midden, thank you very much for the primary sub. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, very flattering when people use their one prime choice. Did I bring the car? How did I get here? Did I actually walk? Where, where, where is car? Car is not in my inventory. I didn't think it would be. Oh, I have a jetpack. I forgot. That's nice. 
Are you back on the old map? Yes, indeed. All right, what are we doing next? Where were we? Uh, so we got a nice, uh, pretty decent early game main bus base. We're churning out all of the sciences short of... Oh, I haven't actually got it unlocked yet. I think it's called Rocket. Uh, not Rocket Science Pack, but Rocket Tech Card. Uh, why don't we work towards unlocking that, for starters? Uh, unless we think of something else. Going to try the gate again? Uh, no promises. Let's get all of these batteries started. Fantastic. And I guess I'll put power holes over here as well. At least for now. Wait, I have substations now. We can do better. That's a bit neater. Research is going rather fast. Um, I should probably get rid of more of the biters while they're still relatively weak. Uh, let's see, we've just unlocked small portable generator. Uh, well, I think I need bigger... I think I need bigger armor before that's going to be particularly relevant. Uh, that's amusing. Power armor uses the... that spelling. And the uh, adaptive armor uses the other spelling. Let's see, power armor mark two. There's actually quite a lot of prerequisites. What about power armor mark one? We can get that in relatively short order. We do need to start launching rockets to get the next tier of armor. Jeez. Okay. Um. Well, I think we'll probably knock off everything that doesn't require this tech card first. Did I say hello, Michaelette? There's so many M's. Uh... Well, regardless, good to see you. Beep, beep. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 60 UPS. Yes, indeed. How come you haven't released Bidefriendo yet? Um, so does Bidefriendo just... Let, let me save Scum real quick. Does, does Bidefriendo live indefinitely? I thought it would just be like a one-off consumable. It lives forever? Can I push it around? No, I can't. Maybe I should have made a pen for him first. That's why we keep it in walls? Yeah. I can just barely... Oh, there we go. Hello, bite a friendo. Likes to wander around a bit and get stuck on machines. <laughs> Mine disappeared. Oh no. Braco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's a lot of batteries already. That's good. Um, I could probably all... Well, we're mostly using jetpacks right now. What am I... What, what do I even have available for power armor? Just jetpacks... Uh, and adaptive armor. Okay. 
So how does the portable... What does the portable generator consume? Processed fuel? I, I, I have to find out. Wait, no. I'm not going to make something that's going to be sitting in my inventory. Oh, there's no character in the lab area. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll craft this just so we can see how it works. If nothing else. Cho chocolate biscuit. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, um, so what do we got unlocked here? Biofuel. Uh, big electric motor. Should probably get started on that already. Gas power station. Uh, navigation satellite. And there's our satellite rocket silo. We actually already have access to... Everything except for big electric motors to build it. Um, so let's figure out what our big electric motor build is going to look like. We're going to need blue assembler at the very least. Big electric motor. What goes into it? Four things at a ratio of... 1 to 2 to 1. Oh, and then it's lubricant, actually. So... Small electric and steel plate on one side of the belt, if I want to be fancy. We could probably be a little bit fancy. Especially when we have to deal with um, the pipes. In fact, we're already... Yeah, we've all, we can just steal the layout from blue tech cards for this. For the most part. So we're going to have... Um, let's see. This was... Blank tech cards on one side of the belt. And here we have... We need, we need small electric and steel on one side of the belt. And the other side is just unfettered um, green circuits. So something like... I might get this wrong, actually. It's going to be easier to just throw something on there and then see what it looks like. So let's say we use the left side of the belt for green circuits. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Does it matter if that's... It should probably all be the same belt color. Where's my upgrade planner? Uh, and then we have steel plate and small electric. Cool. Uh, can I do it without having to bring the green circuits in on both uh, both sides of this? I was going to say, wait a sec, it's looking a bit jammed, but actually it's just that this isn't powered. And some pipe. I mean, lubricant. And void that. Cool. So, where on our bus are these things? Small electric is relatively close. Uh, green circuits are way down here. 
and steel plate is close to small electric. Except steel plate and small electric... Oh yeah, they're going on the same sides of... But... Wait, did I do that wrong? What the... No, they should both be on the same side. Huh? How did this happen? O. Oh. Wait, no. Not O. Oh. That's steel plate. Oh, the filter is wrong here. Dup. Alright, so if this was... If this was small electric, this would be small electric. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, could we instead... Oh, I know what I'll do. I think... We could do green circuits and a uh, small electric and steel plate coming in on opposite sides of this belt and let the green circuits in between them. And that'll be a bit easier to take from the bus. Getting some... Interesting patterns, actually. Oh, we don't need this at all, I don't think. Yeah, um... What do we? Yeah, no, this should be green circuits now. I think that's the problem. So green circuits only come back here. And the recycled stuff is prioritized. That looks like it's working properly. Filter to circuit? Yes, indeed. Wouldn't it be better one belt full circuit? Yes. Especially because that's much more easy and convenient to take from our bus because the uh, small electrics and steel plate happen to be close together. All right, looks like that will work. Uh, let's let's run the simulation a bit longer. By which I mean. Speed it up a bit in real time with... wait, what? Oh, here we go. Super speed modules. Apparently we don't have those. Uh, let's see. Super speed module. Turn that into a passive provider chest. There's actually no robo range here. That would probably help. Uh, let's see. Roboport. And... Some box. Put them in... Put them in the Roboport. And there we go. Oh, we're very much bottlenecked on the inserters now. Never mind. Uh, that should probably do it. Undead Hunter. Oh, hey, Osoro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is quite the interesting sushi arrangement. Thank you. Uh, but I might have the output belt go down this way. OK, 
Can I yellow belt this? Not even a little bit. I'm pretty new to trains and LTN. Can you give me a explain like M5 for how to request, let's say, a four cargo train with four different resources from the grid without mixing them up? Uh, well, you can only get the train to pick up from one station with the dynamic scheduling at a time. So you would have to have a pickup station that's offering multiple resources at the same time. Which means you'll have to have a... Um, uh, a smart loading system for that station. Where are we going to put this exactly? I want this to be about here. I usually am lazy and put filter insert as a multiple unloading stations. Yeah, uh, it's it's not that difficult to have a station that accepts multiple resources. Um, but if you want one train to pick up all those resources at once, uh, you're going to have to... There's going to be some circuitry involved. Um, am I missing anything, or should that be fine, actually? We could put this over here, I suppose. That's probably good. I could save like a tile here, but who cares? Yeah, no, I think I think that's fine. All right, so let's add this to our base. Oh, research is done already. Um. Recycling facility, life support facility, med pack 2, breaking force, because why not? There's no, like, productivity bonus that we can still get that I haven't done, surely. No, nothing that is sort of urgent. Or enrichment. Enriched iron. Interesting. Robotics, yes please. Construction bots. Personal Roboport. Fantastic. Uh what else? Let's get the Oh, I already queued that up. Okay. Whoops. So, what do we get from eight of these? For a second I thought that was 60 times faster than it actually is. Um, is 36 per minute good for electric motors? I don't want to go too overboard with this base. I thought there were enemies for a second there. Um, but at the same time I do want a luxurious rate of producing these things and so far as that's possible. The rate of consumption is quite slow. I think we can double this at the very least. Um, so how about we go with that. Does this pattern repeat? I think it does. Fantastic. Get some pipes up here. Looks. Do I actually have the pipes? I don't. Uh, give me some iron. Usually I'm lazy and put filter inserters and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the LTM thing. I don't think you need a ton per second. This build should be good 
if you add a beacon later, yeah. Alright, some pipes. I think 16 is probably more than we need. We can always trim it back. If it's... I don't think that's gonna, like, consume our resources that quickly either. Um, and this one... So this is going to be steel and small electric motors. Probably... oh that's perfect. Small electric motors... one off. Okay, let me just steal from myself here. Uh, are they next to each other? Not quite. So, where is it? I'm looking for one of these that's not, like, interrupted by anything else. Like that. And like this. And away we go. Therefore, we don't mess up our complicated design. Oh, I don't have one. Uh, give me that. And this will be green circuits, which are all the way down here. Let's see. Right about there, I think. Perfect. One off. And there. Doop doop. Iron on both sides of the belt. One of the battery inserters is blocked. Uh, true. We can fix that. Alright, let's get our belt over here. Oh, I went past it. Splitter. I've run out of red undergrounds. Stopped myself from handcrafting because this is much quicker. What else am I getting low on? Red belts. Uh, yellow belts. Splitters, not really. Okay. Oh, I didn't try this thing on yet. So, I'm guessing I just put it in here. It's got no fuel. Does it say what fuel it takes? Oh, here we go. Small portable generator. Wood, coal, solid rocket fuel, processed fuel. Quite a lot of things, actually. Where is my fuel? How did I jetpack just now? There it is. Uh, so I have to right-click on this. And put this in here. And I think, judging by the look of it, it doesn't consume anything unless there's actually something to consume power. Yeah.
Well, that's not too bad. Don't really need it right now. And then... Let's finish our green circuits connection here. Doop doop. And I didn't quite bring these in yet. Oh. I don't think I've automated pipes yet. I haven't automated a lot of things because we don't have any logistic bots or anything. And I suppose I could do a giant sushi mall. That's one way to have a good compact mall without without logistic bots. If you have to use belts. Um, I could make the biggest container that we can. It's only 6x6. Six six. How many things can I fit around a 6x6? Six six? Is the shelter bigger? I don't think so. It's exactly the same size. 200 storage. It's not as much as this thing. Um, how many assemblers could I fit around this? Probably like eight, maybe more. If we do a kind of spiral pattern, I could do 12, but where are we going to do our input if I do that? 12 is not enough for a mole in any case. It could be quite effective for something like inserters though. Yeah, we could definitely have done inserters all around one big container. Swapping resources. Reinforced plates. Refined concrete plus steel bit. It's nothing but walk speed and aesthetics. We'll skip that for now. Flamethrower? Flamethrower turret? Hell yes. Let's get that researched as much as we can. Uh, not that big on these kinds of drones. I don't think most people are. Explosive rocketry. That's pretty cheap. Let's just knock it out. Can you read the train schedule in a train stop? That might be a way to fill different resources for each wagon. Uh, with LTN, you can read from the logistic train stop output. Uh, and depending on if the train is picking up or dropping off, you'll get various signals. If it's uh, if it's doing fluid, you'll get negative one if it's supposed to get rid of the fluid, like get it out of the train. Let me go get some inserters here. Um, but I think with solids it's a positive value no matter what. So if the train arrives with like 16k iron uh, and it's trying to drop that off, it'll say 16k iron. Um, and if it's arriving to pick up 16k iron, it'll say 16k iron. What was I looking for? Inserters. I've got yellow... Wait, what? Why was I looking for inserters? Oh, I was looking for assemblers. I haven't... I haven't set up auto-crafting for those yet. Okay, let's get these uh, inserters placed. And this one. Um, I might try and squeeze a substation in here somewhere, or just do it like this, actually. That might be a bit neater.
We need to get lubricant here. I don't think I've even made lubricant yet. Uh, it's just heavy oil, right? Still. Yeah, just heavy oil. But that doesn't. Uh, that does mean I need to drag heavy oil all the way up here first. Wait, these aren't powered. How are they not powered? Oh. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Now, oil is all the way over here. Uh, okay. I guess steel pipes make it a considerably less of a chore. To bring that fluid over. Let's make some more steel undergrounds. And come to think of it, before I do that, uh, have I unlocked... I think blue belts require space now. Logistic Logistic 3, yeah. We'll be needing lubricant for that as well, but for now... I want to see if... Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong... The wrong kind of machine. Lubricant, what's our ratio like? Um... 10 versus 48. So I would actually need five of these. I think I'd rather make lubricant a little bit more centrally so we can store it. Well, in that case, regardless of where I do it, I think I'll run this pipe down this way. Good grief, that distance is fantastic. Long live steel pipes. And where is it? Are we going to add any belt down here? Let's assume we will. Uh, and probably nothing here, though. In fact, I'm sure we won't be adding anything there. Alright, so let's put... Can I make the bigger storage tanks? I can. It's just a lot of steel. Huge storage tank. 200k. Alright, that seems a little excessive, even by my standards. Um... I might just start with... Then again, it would line up nicer. With the chemical plants, it looks like. Nope. No, it wouldn't. We could have one-to-one -one with the smaller ones, but they would have to be, like, offset. Or we could have one-to-one -one with these with a gap like that. It's probably fine. If I surrounded it, there'd be no way to get the output. If I put it like this... We could... do that. That seems kind of weird. Alright, let's just stick with this for now. Um, we could have n number of machines making lubricant if I do it like this. But I don't think we're in desperate need of it right now. Um, let's run heavy oil.
Uh, Yoko, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. K2 steel pipes are the best thing since sliced bread. Yes, indeed. And then you get to space and suffer horribly due to the space underground pipe length. Yeah, it's going to be bad. Let's say you got multiple copper ore destinations. Is there a way to read where the train will go at the pickup? Uh, not that I'm aware of. No, I don't think so. Is this... I think I should turn left here. I'm surprised after I trigger the jetpack it holds on to um, the click and drag pipe that I'm holding on to. Oh wow, that's long. I don't want to put this too close to the belt actually. Um, why don't I start from down here? RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do we have advanced oil yet? Um, I kind of don't want to interrupt this, but... There we go. And not a single drop of oil was wasted. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Can we get advanced oil? What? Oil... Advanced oil processing. Oh. Oh, it's this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I'm not used to it looking like that. Alright, cool. So that is the... Uh, the usual recipe that I'm used to. Let's just empty those first. Gonna be needing a few more... Uh, storages... To finish this build. That basically comes to lots of steel. Doop -a doop Logistics bots. Storage containers. We can't do the blues yet. We're running out of things that don't require the next type of science already. Fantastic. Where am I going again? Oh yeah, I need a bunch of steel. Where be the st- uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, so the steel here isn't running off stored iron. And... Oh, crap. Our iron mine is actually almost dead. I have cleared out this area, and there's a nice juicy 8.4 million iron available here. Um, I haven't sealed it off yet, militarily. We'd better get a move on and do that. I just want to pick these up so I have a much clearer picture of... Just how many of these miners are empty. Yeah, that's that's not great. I thought it would be that I just needed to add some more miners, but we're actually We're actually down to 230k already. Um I was hoping we could comfortably start making a rail base by the time I start tapping this iron here, but I think we're gonna have to do a little bit of train spaghetti in the meantime. Alright, let's... I've already got a million turrets in my inventory. Um, what about walls?
Uh, I don't think we're actually building walls up here anywhere. I do have a built down here that is uh, from the spaghetti base that has a bunch of walls stocked up somewhere. That's actually quite a few. All right, what about ammo? Should be quite a lot in the train. Fantastic. Uh, where am I going to put this other stuff, though? I should definitely pick up some more processed fuel before I go as well. Do not want to be running out of jetpack while we zoom around doing military things. Alright, let's take all of the ammo we can. That's actually not that much compared to what we're going to be doing. I'll put away most of these belts for the moment. That's actually full. Uh, where's the yellow belt? That's that's full as well. This is what I was looking for. Uh, that's two stacks of electric drills as well. Let's handcraft all these fish into first aid kits. Or maybe med packs? I need wood and biomatter. We've got that. In fact, we've got that in the same place right here. Give me the wood. It's in a chest up there, actually. Uh, can I make... I need a machine to make... That's the same type of med pack. It's only the med pack 2 that I need a machine to do better. This is fine. Alright, um, let's... It's actually empty. Wait, really? Huh, oh, the wood... I just took a bunch of wood, it goes all the way back to here, but not filling this? That's quite a coincidence, actually. Alright. Uh, we're gonna make all of our fish into med packs. And... Put the wood back, I think. Put the biomatter back, definitely. And I probably don't need automation cores. Why don't I just shift C and drop off resources everywhere as much as I can? Wow, that actually cleared out my inventory quite a lot. Make sure I didn't drop off anything that I need to take with me. Uh, we've only got two stacks of processed fuel. That's not great. And this is going to be the next tier of med pack. Alright, so we got guns, we got ammo, we've got walls. Um... We got sentinels. I should handcraft some uh, wind turbines so that I can throw down some power in its own little separate network. Iron, 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 and copper. Iron. Iron. Copper's a bit slow as well. I'm surprised copper's this slow already. Oh, wow. Yeah, copper's bad. I guess I shouldn't be that shocked, considering how quickly we've been going through the research and we've been uh, making storage for a lot of stuff. But still... Uh, wind turbines, more iron. Where are the iron beams? I thought I... Here they are. 
Uh, I need I need a, another stack here. More copper. No, wait, we're fine. How many of these am I crafting? That's probably enough for now. Okay. Uh, let's go build... I think this area is already sealed off, actually. Yeah. So I only need to build a wall down here. Unless I can clear out an area here and it's going to be even better for defense. Hazand Han, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I'm going to explore a bit and clear out some more biters. Um, on the off chance that we find an even better choke point down here. This one's great, but it's just at kind of a weird angle. And it's much nicer to build walls in cardinal directions in Factorio. I might just stop research for a little while considering we're running out of stuff. Uh, I can't see where I can place things here. That was surprisingly quick. We didn't lose anything, did we? Nope. Okay. I'll pick these up as I go, because I don't want to accidentally leave them behind. Their health bars make them a bit easier to spot. Rip trees and rocks and bullets. flew over it. That should be pretty effective. Still didn't lose a turret. Fantastic. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I unlock repair pipe, uh, repair port? I did, actually. That might be good to have. I need to go to the trouble of making bots first, though. I think we need to prioritize getting our new resource supplies first. Do you die if you land in the water with the rocket pack? Nope. Uh, you just kind of stand there. Like this. I'm doing fine, a little sleepy, but that's okay. And how's the stream going? Uh, not too bad. Any hiccups? Um, we're running out of resources quite suddenly, so I need to... I need to secure some inputs uh, post-haste a little earlier than expected. I was hoping I could make a nice uh, rail block system before that happens. Maybe I could. Um, 
but I think for now... How did my inventory end up this full? What? How did I... What? Wait, what? What did I pick up? Oh, stone, probably. The normal Factorio problem, not enough resources? Yeah. Um, I should probably, instead of attacking every biter nest I see for now, I should probably be flying around the edge uh, and seeing where the water goes. Because uh, that's sort of the point at the moment. Oops. Yeah, this... okay. This continent's going a lot further than I thought. Than I thought it might. So I think over here is definitely where we're going to be building our defenses. So let's get started with that. Um, do I have any clip explosives? I do. And we don't need a whole lot. Um, I don't really have a good way to measure how, what kind of angle we need here. But I want two turrets that can cover each other comfortably and then one in between. Almost perfect. That's making it worse, actually. So something like this. And then... I should put the walls a bit further out to block the spit. Uh, is that our pattern? It might be close. If I move it down like one tile, we don't need to bother with the cliff explosives there. I messed that up. No, we're fine. Alright. I might want to beef up this part just a little bit more than usual. Since often you get biters appearing here in particular. Uh, at the edge like this. Should probably make sure I leave some ammo as I go. Um, you know what? We've got so much. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, why don't I change... Ammo limit to half a stack. When I use even distribution. Wait, what? Oh, it's not letting me do a decimal. Yeah, I can't actually type the decimal, but I can... Huh? How did I get a fraction earlier? Oh, it's items now. Oh, can I do a decimal now? There we go. Alright. Uh, I should probably be using my hotkey. Alright. Um, I don't think I can do a diagonal... Snap to grid, can I? Won't be needing to cliff explode. That might be good if I make sure that's sealed, though. Turret. 
Carts can't shoot through these rocks, so I should get rid of them. How close are we? Almost half. have the extra walls. screen or so to go. Gazownik, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well also. Welcome, welcome. The edge is an issue. Had a base where the edge turrets had one million damage and the middle had zero. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it's rampant. I may be mixing it up with one of the older mods that isn't uh, working anymore, uh, Misanthrope. But I think rampant has like heat maps where it keeps track of where the biters have died and gets the biters to attack at different places. Um, so you actually do have to defend everywhere in that case. And uh, let's say two more turrets down here. It's about right. Doing well, keeping up with the tradition of failing at CME defense. <laughs> nice. Uh, Zayla 2, thank you very much for the Prime sub as well. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. That would be a very rampant thing to do, as if that mod wouldn't kill enough of your UPS already. Yeah, but when we clear a planet, it won't be killing any of our UPS for that planet. Okay, um, so now I need to expand our resupply. I need to go back and get a bunch of rail. I'm going to need a lot more belt to make this happen as well. While I'm at it, I think I will actually just thicken the wall. I've got so many more walls still in my inventory. I'm not going to worry about those little mistakes that add extra wall. That's sort of a good thing. Time is of the essence. Whoops. Extra thick over there. That rock. What the? Um, did I? Okay, it actually, it actually works just as fast, but <laughs> jetpack mining. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. You have a jetpack hammer. Yeah, apparently. Diarchus, good to see you again. 
well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's go. Uh, I don't. Oh wait, this will block shots, so we probably should put walls here as well. Yeah, I don't think the cliffs block the biter's projectiles. That would be weird. I mean, it's weird that walls do and cliffs don't, but cliffs are indestructible walls, so game balance. And I'm sure we're going to have more biters here, so let's thicken that up. Okay. Uh, let's suppose we're going to have our train stop here-ish, and then something like this, got plenty of these. I could actually use substations and then they'd be further away, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, belt. I might just keep it simple. That's a little bit unfortunate. It's fine. Inserters. Medium poles. Uh, I think that's as close as it can be, right? Nope, we can move it closer. Uh, quite easily, actually. In fact, how many tiles can we move this? Uh, two. Oh, I can't actually pick a dollies from here. Not without the nav set. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then we can fit all of these under one power pole. Just barely, actually. Um, may as well put these inserters here. I need to actually go back and get the belt. There's not much point in ghosting it at this point. I can not handcraft a station. Um, Alright, so let's go back and get rail, station, uh, already got a steel chest, belt. I can put down power poles. It'll be easier once I've actually seen where the inserters are going. I'm always overkill with solar slash accumulators. Maybe that's why it's a non-issue in my mind for the CME. I didn't get the fuel in the reactor nearly enough. The reactor relied completely on pumps. Oh... To move steam, so when the yeah, 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 so you got a death spiral. Always good to run those uh, elements off of solar or something if you can. Um, okay, so yellow belt, lots of yellow belt. Wait, it's over here. Yellow belt. That's probably a bit much. Uh, yellow inserters, I don't think I'm going to run out, but I'll grab some more regardless. Train tracks. Are we automating train tracks? I don't remember automating train tracks, but we've made like a decent amount of it. But it's pretty easy to handcraft, right? Steel beam plus stone, half a second for two. Yeah, okay. We've got both of those things on the bus. I've already got a million stone in my inventory. Uh, 
Uh, ripstone. Okay. Uh, so we got rail. I need a train stop. Just need some steel plate for that. And then I think that's pretty much it. I think. Did you chance the train circuit to read ammo from yellow in the local... Oh, did I change it? Yeah, 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 I did. Um, so at the stations, uh, the condition is if armor-piercing rifle mag is less than 100, the station is active. Just leave that there for now. And where are we going? Uh, this cliff bothers me. Oops, that's a rock. Oops. Another one? Oh, a tiny twig. Alright, maybe I should not try to go as fast. There we go. I forgot that I don't actually need to get off of the jetpack to mine this stuff. be taking that. And I think we will go through here. My inventory is full. That's deconstruction planner. It's only one key off. Alt C or Alt D. Down we go. Not like that. And we're almost there. Cliff, how dare you. We squeeze it through there. Apparently not. Huh. I kind of want to make that happen. What? Wait. What? Why did it put it there? There we go. And we made it. All right. Station. Already has the settings and everything. Uh, I know that ammo type on the name is different. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. We need some of those wind turbines. That should be way more than enough. Sentinels. And... I guess that doesn't quite work. Let's just click and drag this to be a little bit lazy. have to adjust some of them, probably, but that's fine. Come 
system's gonna have to be a little different. Maybe I should have a, if not a hotkey, just a quick way to access these. That one doesn't have ammo. It's probably fine. annoying me slightly. Skashman, good to see you again. Oh well, I'm welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, whoops. Uh, where are we going? Through here. Just a few more to go. Let me have to run back with the inserters. Oh. Let's do it with the jetpack. That's one off. I guess the momentum isn't actually helping with that, but I don't have legs. Could do a little hop and then do a pair of them. Might be a bit better. Uh, cool. Is that actually everything? Now we actually need our train to arrive. Does it have a pass? Yes, yes it does. Okay. Um, so I think I'll just put ammo in here instead, actually. And then we'll add some sentinels every so often. Uh, what did I miss? Misplaced one? One of the inserters? I'll inspect them on the way back. Alright, how's that for our sentinels? Uh, I can't really tell until I move the player character away for a moment. That looks more than enough. Okay. Let's see. Inserters. Oh, I see. It's the belt that's off, actually. Is that it? Looks like it. Oh, and the biters are already been here. Fantastic. Alright, so now we can exploit this iron mine. And I just so happen to have 95 uh, electric mining drills on me. Let's get these out of the way. Should I bother with making a build of this that uses substations? 
No, the, the density would have to be lower. Does it even matter? If I'm going to do spaghetti rail, I think I'd rather just make a separate rail uh, to temporarily get this back. Or I could... I could actually just belt it. That's not the worst thing we could do. It's not that far. And it's going to prevent uh, complicating things. I should do an upgrade plan for this. Uh, let's see. Create copy. Upgrade plan. Red belt. Perfect. Red, electric, medium, pole. Fantastic. Uh, Farwin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think there's like a perfect way to lay this out. Oh, maybe. Nah, I might have to cliff explode. Actually, that is covered. Okay, so far so good. Um, can I scroll this through to... There we go. That's looking pretty good. Just a few tiles here that are not covered. Here as well. Alright, so how many is this? 200. I mean, we'll be cancelling a few of these, but still. 200 electric mining drills. How many belts do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Although a couple of them are going to be quite scarce. Um, I think... Let's pretend we're going to upgrade this to steel furnaces. We're looking at... As much as 80 iron ore per second. So two red belts. So we can just bring this all together and merge it in. That's a little bit unfortunate. That should be fine. Something like that. Kind of. These two into one. These two into one. Uh, close enough, I guess. And these two into one as well. Something like that. And then, simple as you like, uh, four becomes two. stuff on the belt. 
So let's plug that. And that. That and that. And then we'll just run two belts all the way back up here. It would feel a bit wrong going this far with belt, but the fact that having another bit of rail before we get to making our rail block, it's actually going to get in the way. Um, that was kind of the clincher there. All right, let's grab all of our red belt. T United, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alex Hudson also. Around six from left or so. Oh, the one that was missed. Yes, yes. Uh, what do we got? Is that enough? Probably not. I could handcraft a bit more rail to get the stone out of my inventory. Apparently I don't have enough steel. How much rail do I have? Oh, more than I thought. Well, we'll be needing it eventually. Let's put the military walls in here for now. Mm, this can go in here for the moment as well. And then... More red belt. I need more miners, probably. Small electric, iron, and stone. These as well. Oh. Um, small electric. Those up again. Stone brick. Small electric. All right, that should be good and excessive. Some construction bots would be nice at this point. Although they would definitely struggle to do anything at this scale. It's probably still easier to do this myself. Didn't even need those ones. And we need one over here. Get the poles in first, and it should be easier to place the belts. I wonder if I brought enough. mediums. We need 18. That's a lot less than I thought it would be. Those aren't covered. Do we even need that one? No, we don't.
Don't think we need that one. Definitely going to be needing this one. this get covered? Yeah, it did. Uh, I think we're running out of... yeah. How many are we handcrafting? 5, 10, 5, 12, 25, 27, plus like 12 again. Uh, I don't think we have enough to do this in one. Oh, what's getting damaged? Nothing too serious. I'm wasting a little bit of belt by doing that lazy drag, but we're probably fine. It'll all get recycled in the end anyway. Once we finish this, we'll have to do it again for copper. Oh, I didn't actually place these power poles yet. Are we good? Seems good. Alright, how many drills have I got? 22. And we're missing 35. We're making like 13. This is quite a big line for this stage of the game. Do I not have undergrounds? How do I have one underground? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we end up with a lost underground somewhere? Or maybe even what was supposed to be an underground isn't there? Placed the last miner the wrong was. Uh, the wrong way. Place the last miner the wrong way. Oh, true. Alright, I guess I'll fly back and get some more undergrounds. I think... Wait, does K2 or SE change it? I think we actually save metal if we use the undergrounds to go long distance, but not with yellows. What was I picking up? Red undergrounds. Four drills facing opposite direction, indeed. Uh... Up, Suzette. Well, uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I forgot to grab more stuff to handcraft drills, but this will be more than enough to make this mine functional for the moment, anyway. We're actually just 18 short. Alright, let's get it started and... We'll watch the flow of resources oh. to see if there are any breaks in the belt. That's going to be a little bit annoying, I think. Uh, 
about this one? Oh, it doesn't even reach. This one like that. That is quite a lot of reach. We're actually out of red undergrounds. Wow. I guess I shouldn't be that shocked. We're not making them that quickly. Oh, okay. 42. That's not bad. Even so, let's speed it up a little bit. Sure, the prerequisite is faster as well. Billy Big Ball, thank you for the follow. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where did our belt stop? That's it there. And I think I want to turn the corner before the stone mine. Turrets are engaged with the enemy. Same spot, more or less. That came up quicker than expected. What? Tiny stone. And we already ran out again. I think we need like a hundred or so to get this where I need uh, need it to go. And we're already up to four. That's not a whole lot actually. How about you have some belt? How about you have most of the belt? The inserter can keep up. So what's our rate here? Let's say per minute, 45. Okay, so it'll be a couple of minutes before I can get that go. I should run power poles while I wait for that. And I think we'll run that from down here. Fantastic. Is that covered? Yeah, yeah, I checked this before. Alright. Are uh, any of these getting stuck? Yes, they are. Why is that one? Oh, I see. There's our... There's our lost underground. From when we had an odd number. Okay, so just these two, apparently. Seems good. Uh, it looks like we're getting well more than... We're, we're bottlenecking on 30 per second through here pretty easily. I would expect nothing less. Uh, red belt is over here, actually. That's almost another hundred. I should allow more stacks of this to accumulate. Alright, let's keep running this across. I also should have grabbed something for handcrafting more smelters. Cogs. Small electric. Iron. And I think that actually covers it for now, but let's do some more so we have some for next time. 
All right, where's our belt? There it is. Shouldn't have stopped. Alright, so we want this to insert itself over here. Whoops. That's going to be in the way when the other belt is included. Uh, and then let's go to the right, I mean to the left. And up here. And we'll probably just... Well, I guess it doesn't matter which of these it goes in, actually. We'll still go there. Let's grab some red belt. Will you need just two belts of everything in the main bus, or do you plan to expand it later? No, there's a pretty definite limit to how much I want to use this base uh, before we expand to rail blocks. Alright, let's fix up our corners. Yeah, a main bus scales up to a point very well, and then it gets problematic, shall we say. Alright, let's finish our drills. Oops. And belts. And somehow I ended up with an odd number in my inventory, even though this was sorted out. The horror. And this belt looks like it's not working, but it's actually just backed up. Maybe I should put splitters here so that these miners actually work all the time. Mm, this one's going to have about the same problem. There we go. Get out of my inventory, please. That's another stack of iron. Okay. You have unconnected mines at the top. Do you mean the power? As opposed to the belt? Alright, that is... This one's already empty. Oh. Well, that was easy enough to tidy up. Went too deep with Space 3 science with a huge main bus. Not a single train, it worked fine. Train blocks got... Oh, went too deep, as in not T-O-O -O deep. Train blocks got some upsides, but setting up for each recipe is much easier with a bus. I definitely don't agree with the last part, but the thing with the bus is to go that far, you have to really plan ahead or make it very, very thick. Alright, let's run this up here now. Whoops. We're going to run out very, very soon. Oh, even sooner than expected. Uh, can I, like, get a rough count? 
of just how many undergrounds we're going to need here. If this is a hundred, and I can expect fog of water kick in there now, we probably need like 250 or so. Well, that's full 100. It should be overkill at this point to bring in two red belts, but we get it done now, I don't have to go back to it. And belts don't cost any power or anything. Here, twig and rock, and that actually didn't get in the way. Did this wrong for the aesthetic. Whatever. Uh. Let's grab even more undergrounds. I'm actually a bit shocked that. Oh, I misread it. That wasn't 400, that was 200. Yeah, of course that's gonna run out. Uh, I think we're gonna be close, but not quite have enough here. I think we're going to make it. Nope. We're three off. So close. Grab some red belt. Throw it in here. You can have that extra one. I'm not gonna be sad about that forever. Odd number of odd numbers of undergrounds. All right. Um. How about? Why have I not got red belt? Because I put literally all of it back in here. Let's get rid of my iron. Let's put this up here, and I should actually, I should actually put it up here, though. Alright, let's merge this in somewhat properly. Not that it's going to matter in the long run. And how? 
Oh, it hasn't flowed up here yet. It is in motion. I can't see far enough back to confirm it's working. I'll just check on it in a minute. If it's working, it'll be here. And if not, then I'll go and fix it. May as well clean up this old stuff. And we probably need to go get copper. We're down to 65k. Yeah, 2.4 mil over there. Uh, I think that's all that's within the old walls, actually. I think that's all that's within any of our walls, actually. That's a little bit scary. Oh, that's, that's 3.1 right there. Right in front of our wall, though. Okay. I broke power. Let's fix it. Fantastic. All right, so yeah, 65k copper does not inspire confidence, even if we're not at the stage where we consume copper that quickly yet. I'll probably do the same thing and just run a belt. The belt is going to be shorter than the last time. And iron is going to be saturated for the foreseeable future. In fact, uh, while we're at it, let's upgrade our iron smelters. So I need uh, 31 steel furnaces. Why is steel on one side? Oh, I see, because that is empty. It's only outputting it on one side. Because it doesn't do a proper lane balance. I need more stone brick. Uh, what did I do? 15, 31. Fantastic. Um, I think we'll have to upgrade these belts for that to be relevant, actually. 30 iron plate per second. Oh, wait, no. It's 32 times this. 60 per second. That's two red belts, exactly. What's the difference between running normal belts versus all undergrounds like you have? Um, well, for one thing, especially with the blue belts, um, it takes up less inventory space to cover the same distance. Um, it might be better for UPS, I don't know for a fact. Um, if it's... Depending on how long the belt is, if it's actually simulating fewer tiles, uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, but yeah, mostly uh, it's it's more stack size efficient to cover the same long distance. Um, it uses less metal to cover the same long distance. That's not true with yellow belts. Yellow belts will actually cost you more metal, I think, to cover the same distance. All right, and may as well upgrade these now. Where's our 
How do I not have a stack of... Oh, there they are. Loaders. It doesn't actually have to be red belt all the way back, but whatever. And then... Start on these. Actually, if I use an upgrade planner, it becomes a bit more clear which parts I haven't upgraded yet. Can I queue this? No, it gives me the yellow. More undergrounds, please. No, it gave me the odd number back. going to be a bit short on red belt for a little while, I think. Uh, these should probably be faster machines and faster inserters. Let's just upgrade all of them to make sure. Electric circuit. Electronic circuit. What else are we missing? Stone brick? No, iron plate, automation core. That should be overkill. Probably a little bit of a waste making some of these blue, but whatever. Is there a reason to stop researching? Yeah, we were running out of resources. Um, also, we're able to resource, uh, research quite quickly, and we've almost run out of things uh, that we can research before making a new type of tech card. So it's actually not going to make a difference if we try to keep rushing it right now. Oops. Uh, I don't think that's going to matter for now, but who cares. Alright, it's a start. And did we get iron on this belt? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Alright, that's going to be saturated for a long time to come. Uh, I guess now we need to go and do it all again. If this was, what, like 150-ish? I can't remember how many drills. It was over 100, definitely. This is probably 100, 120 or so. Um, so let's grab everything we need for that. Small electrics. Handcrafted until we have to handcraft prerequisites. What if we run out of iron plate? And then... And then what? Small electric? Whoops. More gears. Uh, more stone brick. How many am I handcrafting now? 
Uh, quite a few. Alright, it's a short hop away. Let's make a start. How come you're doing everything by hand and not using bots? We don't have bots. Um, with K2SE, logistic bots don't happen until we get to space. Logistic system. Yeah, it requires space science pack and utility science pack. So we can't do that until we're in orbit. Which some might argue is a little bit harsh. That's a little bit unfortunate. Whatever. And I guess I'll make this part of the same copper mine as well. Actually, let me lay out these uh, drills and see what rate calculator has to say, because I might combine some of these belts to make it a bit easier. So Crastorio is a DLC? It's a mod. Oh, uh, my bad. Let me fix that. Razor K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you can always good tie... Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Forgot to mute the browser. Uh, if you go... Factorio mods, that'll always work. You can always scroll down as well. Um, but I forgot to update the alias. Let me fix that real quick. That looks better, lol, indeed. Galton, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. To be fair, even without requester chests, you can use the inventory logistic to collect stuff from your base faster. Yeah, that's true. Did I miss anything in the chat? Duke Bridge, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Yeah, Copper definitely needs the upgrade treatment. Uh, let me grab this. I need to get in the habit of doing this before stream. Men's. Terraria mods. Get rid of that alias. Factorio mods. Given an alias. Fantastic. Unfortunately, as far as I know, I can't automate that. There might be a way. But certainly not with uh, just CloudBot, I think. Oh, um, let me not get carried away. I need to rate calculate this. I'm going to decide if I'm going to, like, snake the belt through, for example. I actually need to get rid of that. Um, and these ones... I think I need that drill. Alright, what's our rate from all of this? 42, how about this? 18... 29.45. Or how about these? That's a bit over 30. Excuse me. Alright, so if I run this drill... That's actually already covered by power. Uh, if I run this belt, rather, back this way... And just snake it down through here... Uh, 
cast that up again. Let's put down all the power poles first. Then we can just realize that we've run out of red belt. Okay. How many drills do I still have? 43? We might be able to cover this. Maybe. It's going to be a little awkward no matter how we go about it, I think. That's not really going to work, is it? Um, about like this. And then... Like that. Alright, so this is how many drills? 35. That would give us 19 per second. And this slot would give us 12 per second. Uh, that's just a little bit over 30. I think I'll combine those two into one belt. Okay. How many drills do we need to place up here? I think we actually have enough. That belt for middle lane right most isn't using underground for power pole. I think I moved the power pole so that that wasn't going to be a problem. Oh, I think I see what you mean. Without even seeing it, I think I know what probably happened. Own Galaxy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh, new playthrough. Yes, indeed. Uh, Falnox. Welcome, welcome also. Alright, that one's not going to be needed. And... I guess I could do it like... Hmm, what if... If I turn these around, I go like that. Might be better. Wait, what's the max rate from all of this? A bit more than a yellow belt. Alright, we can use yellow belts for most of it. I was going to go this way, wasn't I? No, I think this is fine. Here. Didn't realize that would be an underground. It's probably fine. Um, can we merge that properly? Yes, kind of. Tree X-ray makes things looks a bit uh, look a bit weird sometimes. Okay, so all of these, 12 per second, all of these, 6.5 per second, and they're roughly equal-ish with the sides of the belt, it's probably fine. And then we'll merge that with a red splitter. Now, where's that little mistake? thing. Alright, let's go get some red belt. Should be a decent amount by now. Fantastic. 
Stone, get out of my inventory. More red belt. Except for the sad, odd one. And splitters are down to half a stack as well. That's a, two stacks is a bit overkill, but who cares? Biomatter. Does Shift C put it in here? It does. But I still have like two stacks. I guess that's in the settings somewhere? For even distribution? Maybe not. Alright, let's run our power poles this time. I've only got four. Whoops. And I still haven't done uh, heavy oil over here. I completely forgot about that. Probably because I came looking for steel and that's when I noticed that iron was having trouble. Uh, power poles... What's our fuel looking like? 62. It's not a whole lot. Big power poles. Fantastic. And I might run it from down here. It defaults to two stacks unless you use your logistic requests to set it differently. So if you set biomatter to zero, there will be shift, uh, shift so you'll get rid of all of it. Interesting. That's actually really good. Very thoughtful. Thanks, I love it. Alright, up we go. And... It would probably help if we had some power poles here. Actually, I'm feeling a little bit lazy. Let's use a couple of substations. Because why not? And then... Bring this down here. Whoops. And I think I want to merge it. Oh. One off. Can I squeeze it through there? That'll do, I guess. And the power pole. Just check again. What does rate calc say for the entire copper mine? 60 per second. It's not going to stay that way, but let's pretend that we're actually going to get two red belts out of this. Um, we'll just merge it in here. Alright, away we go. Damn it, rocks. Perfect, let's just merge it in with this. Keep that copper out of my inventory. Actually get this copper out of my inventory. Con B. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so this is going to go... 
this, I guess. That should be fine. And I've only got exactly one underneathy left. Um, I don't know how that happened, but we're back to an even number and nothing bad will ever happen. Again, it'll it'll stay that way forever. That's that's how that works. Don't need this much red belt for now. Null cascade, good to see you again also. Happily ever after the end, yes. Precisely. So how many I'm guessing that was like 200 underground belt or so. Um, I could help this along a little bit. Handcrafting undergrounds is actually really fast. And we'll take the rest of the reds and put them in here. I don't think we're going to get there that quickly, though. Either way. Underneathy, sounds like you've been watching KOS uh, a while ago, yeah. Besides, uh, that's what it says right here. Underneathy. Are you going to argue with the game? Impossible. Let's see. Uh, I guess I have to... Oh, no. I have no red belt on me. Uh, let's do this. Actually. And then... Some more of these. KOS is also the abbreviation for Kerbal Operating System. It lets you... Basically write your own AI for... Kerbal spaceships and stuff. The last thing I was doing with that was trying to write a... What do you call it? A fly-by-wire system? Whereby... Uh, basically, the computer translates some pretty simple inputs by the player into some complicated stuff complicated and difficult stuff to control a VTOL uh, very, very well. I'm not arguing with it. I'm going to call mod slash hacks, though, on that name being in your game. Impossible. Never happen. Uh, WestiX, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have this copper? Did I connect it all properly? I guess I should go inspect it all the way back anyway. Our wall is seeing some action, but not taking any damage. Fantastic. Uh, this copper is flowing, so probably yes. Probably. There could be a block all the way up, so that this is still flowing. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. I'm still not seeing copper coming out of here, though. always been called underneathy what do you mean indeed has nothing to do with the underneathies mod nope that there's no such thing is it really taking that long just for the copper to move this way or is it bust up oh, there it is there it is We did it.
Fantastic. Alright, so iron and copper and stone. Not looking like they're running out anytime soon. Should we build some kind of sushi mole? Or should we keep expanding? Now that we don't have to run out, uh, worry about resources for a bit, let's knock off all of these blue and below sciences. Because we can. Sushi mole. I just want to make sure that we're already at the end, or at least very close to the end. Oh, I haven't made the lubricant yet. Let's fix that. Um, yeah, I want to make sure we're not adding any more, like, intermediate products. I guess there's going to be flying robot frames, for one thing. Once, we, once we've run out of intermediate products that we're going to add to this base, uh, then we'll do our sushi mole, and we won't have to, like belt anything backwards or anything like that. Why do I have copper here? Sushi mall? What, like a food court? <laughs> yes, precisely. Um... Yeah, so I was getting this... Oh, I, I shift seed the steel away. Whoops. That's, yeah, that's steel. Uh, we needed a whole lot of steel undergrounds. I already got them, actually. Oh, I needed um, storage. Large storage tanks. We need steel beams. And then we need steel pipe, but that's a very quick handcraft anyway. What do we got here? Like one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Something like 20 uh, large storage tanks, I think. I should probably expand steel production. I don't know. Can we... We can fit another one pretty easily. Yeah, let's let's do that. May as well. Shockingly easily, actually. What are we bunking? Oh, I should flip this so that we can share this belt. Sigma beam. Red... Competitive beats. Good to see you again. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need 24 steel furnaces. And ironically for that I need steel. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. Inserters. Is this a bunkathon now? Darudi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I guess it is. Uh, oh, I can see why that was red belt. That's really not necessary up here. Okay, I see how it is. Um, I kind of want to take from a different belt here. Uh, so the fast insert is the iron. And then... 
steel furnaces. We're still handcrafting these? Yeah, we are. Need some power poles up here as well. That's still disconnecting. Doop a doop. I need more long arms. We need uh, fuel here. Like this. Fantastic. Alright, let's bring this down. So, merge it in. One, two, three. And we are missing one inserter. Oh, that dot. Wait, what? How did that become yellow? Alright, so that doubles our steel. It's 10am, so getting it out of the way now. Alright. Uh, where are we? We were a little short on steel because we wanted lots of large storage tanks. Why don't I just go to the end of the belt? Yeah, there's, there's an amount of steel. Alright, that should be more than enough for a while. I am going to need some regular steel pipe. May as well get ahead of that. Whoops. And let's connect up our oil. Again. Down here. Oh! Rude. We got mediated. How many more did we miss? That one missed us. That one... That hit our main bus base up here. That one killed one of our tree manufacturing thingies. That one missed. And that one missed. Okay. Let's, let's fix these recipes. Put the pipes back. Repair all of this. Replace whatever's broken. There's no power even. Do I have pipes in my... I surprisingly do have pipes in my inventory. Uh, but not regular steel pipe yet. Alright. Heavy oil looks so weird. I actually have the chemical plants. Uh, we probably have, like, way more than we need to crack heavy to light. Realistically. Light to petroleum goes here. Heavy to light goes here. And water is controlled by... I think we missed an underground input there. Whatever. 
Wait, what? Oh, I see. We need to bring water in from the side. I need to handcraft some pumps as well. How many? Eight. I can just barely do that. I need some regular pipe. Give me some iron, please. That will probably do. really suspect we don't actually need this many crackers for heavy to light. We'll see. There isn't really a good mathematical way to determine it, as far as I'm aware. Don't tell me we have an odd number of underground pipes. Dawning horror. I think we do. No. Um, I'm waiting on an awful lot of handcrafts right now. Is that all the underground pipe we actually need for the moment? No. Nope. Doop a doop. And I th think we're almost there now. So I can probably cancel some of these. I need one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Let's get this part working first, and it will become clear. And one of these. And I just realized I'm like unconditionally cracking for the moment. Um. Do I have any... Saw nothing. Um, okay, so if have this is heavy oil cracking, right? Yeah. If heavy oil is greater than light oil, where is light oil? What? Light oil. Okay, so the symbol here looks like the old light oil symbol, but this is multicolored. Uh, this one? Light oil. Alright, if heavy oil is greater than light oil, allow pumping of water to heavy to light oil cracking. And if Light oil is greater than petroleum. Allow water to go to light oil cracking to petroleum. And then we're going to take heavy oil away to get lubricant up here. 
Actually, before I do, heavy oil. It goes into Medipack? Really? Hmm, okay. Solid fuel, light oil, lubricant. Coal filtration. Heavy oil becomes coal and water. That's different. Thermofluid, cryonite. Okay, so I think probably just because of med pack, I might actually pipe the heavy oil itself away instead of turning it all into lubricant here. So this can go here. We'll switch over to steel. Wait, did that connect properly? Yeah, it did. There's no water input for the third refinery from the left. Refinery or chemical plant? Chemical plant. Yeah, that should be fine. So how much have we got of, e uh, of everything here? Let's connect... Let's connect our wires to a power pole. And we've actually got almost zero heavy oil, 2k light, 1k petroleum. Why do we have so little electricity? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I'd better investigate that. But, did I do this wrong? If heavy oil is greater than light oil, it's currently disabled by control behavior. I think it's just running off the little bit of water that got into it before. Disabled by control behavior. Okay, cool. Low power, low power, low power, low power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that's working correctly. Uh, let's investigate our power issues. We've got our coal mine here. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let me go grab the solar panels that we've been saving up. We've actually got quite a lot. Um, what's the best layout at this point? I know with medium poles we can do something like... Uh, kind of a slopey thing, if that makes sense. Oh, the medium poles are better now, so that might not be the best layout anyway. Um, I don't love this, it's pretty fiddly. What if we do a substation? That's not a substation. And then the trouble is this is 3x3 three three and this is 2x2. Two two. I don't think we even have any accumulators yet, but I should probably design for them. Wait, how much solar do we get on this planet? 100 kilowatts. I don't have solar calculator or anything like that, but now this um, should be pretty close to vanilla. 100 kilowatts changes things, or does it? Probably means we need more accumulators, right? Substation, da, substation to accumulators in a cross, up, down, left, right, and solar filling the rest of the area. Yeah, it depends on what the ratio is like. Uh, the golden ratio in vanilla is something like... Oh, this is different. 
as well. I think the substations cover a little bit more area than they normally do also. But we can actually... And we... Oh, that's... That's good. Yeah, that, that's fine. Is that actually just a normal substation? What, what's our ratio, though? It's something like 81% in vanilla, but I can't remember which way around it is. Um, I think it's more solar panels than accumulators. 144 to 76. 1.89 times. I don't think the ratio matters that much unless you only use solar and turn off the rest until accumulators are empty. Um, I mean, the more the ratio is off, the more we're, like, kind of wasting resources on having a bunch of these. Um, I think we probably need more accumulators than we normally would. What's the ratio normally? Optimal ratio, 0.84, 21 to 25 accumulators to solar panels. So considering power output 50 kilowatts, the lab is a bit different. Yeah, considering we're getting 100 kilowatts, I think we need more accumulators, right? Which means something closer to like 1 to 1, or maybe even more accumulators than that. Uh, so this is 36 to 20. I think we need to get rid of, like, a pair of solar panels to make it fit properly, though. We're going to end up with too many accumulators like this. What's the ratio here? 38 to 20. What about... 38 to 20. That's not great. Hmm... I don't think there's going to be a way to to get a particularly good ratio that's nice and neat here. 32 to 29? We should probably have a few more accumulators than that, but that's probably not that bad. I think this will do it. Couldn't you increase the size of the tile to have more space to work with? Yeah, but I don't want to spend that much time on it this time. Uh, we're going to be using more advanced solar panels in the not too distant future. Uh, let's do a snap to grid relative and size that to the substation. If you hold shift, you can click and drag this around. Much easier to change it that way. All right, that looks pretty good. My inventory is full. Uh, I don't actually have the accumulators for now, but I would like to leave room for them. I'd like to get a key modifier for click and drag to keep it on a cardinal direction. Oops. 
Would that be considered, like, cheating in speedrunning? Or is that kind of, like, normal? Or is it a category thing? Solar and snow, hmm, what am I missing? Nothing at all. In any case, there would be an option to turn it off. Holding shift to drag on the blueprint editor is one I only learned a few months ago. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that you only learn by accident or someone telling you. Uh, Alright, so what's our power look? It would help if we connected. Big pole would be cheaper here. Uh, that's already surprisingly not as bad. I, I, I just... I want to have enough solar to help kickstart the coal mine here. Because we seem to be in a bit of a death spiral. Um, I didn't actually see anything... Like, every, all of the mines seemed to be powered. They were just moving incredibly slowly. Where else can we get coal from? That actually was our best coal mine until we go down here, 2.6 mil. Alright, we're going to have to do the same thing we just did for iron and copper. But that will be solved easily enough. The fact that research just continued is a good sign. Can I like... nope, never mind. I was hoping I could click drag this because of the blueprint. Oh, I can, if I do it right. How's our power looking now? Pretty bad because it is nighttime, actually. But we're at 5.1 megawatts as opposed to SFA. I still see no coal here. Actually, I did see a bit of steam. Let's make sure this is at least functional for the moment. Actually, it's not going to matter. There's not enough power. When's the CME? Pernal mass ejection. Uh, 17 hours. I think we'll be okay. I, I dare say we can make a steam battery by then. Not to mention, charge it up. In fact, I could probably charge it on nothing but solar panels. Keep it separate from the main network so there's no issues there. Don't have to do a power switch or anything. Although, then again, why waste all of that excess power? Yeah, our coal mine is just looking really really sad at this point it's not it's not that something's broken here all right let's pick all this stuff up and i think i'll merge it here that's actually a it's it's literally a line straight down. Hopefully we could actually Yes we could. We could literally just have a belt go straight there. Alright, let's do that. This would be easier with the navsat, but 
Let's see if I can just be quick and design that out. Before the fog of war kicks in. Power is pretty close by compared to the last couple of mines that we just built. I've still got 63 drills. Fantastic. Alright, let's clear the mine. Doop a doop. Actually, wow. Uh, how good is our power right now? It's actually almost back to normal. Steam engines are doing more work than they were before. Yeah, we're getting a bit of a virtuous cycle now. Um, okay. So, what? Okay, alright. That's accelerating much faster than expected. Um, yellow belt might be more than enough, but I don't want to bet on it and have to come back here. Actually, can I flip that around, perhaps? Oh, that's right. I think we can cliff explode. Yeah, I saw this somewhere else. We can cliff explode this if we want to build over it, but we can always fix it so that we can use this as a coal mining spot again later. But for now, I would rather just one off. One off. Can we move the entire mine up a tile? Then we'll be missing this, unless I just put this here. All right. Like that. And then like that. And like this. And then we can't cover this part unless... Yes, we can. Uh, these tiles would need something like this. I'm not going to fall for this again. And I guess our electricity is pretty good now. I'll definitely put a bit more time into placing more solar panels. They're actually doing most of the work for the moment. And if possible... No, I don't think I can underground belt through this. We're actually like two tiles off. Alright, um, that's gonna go somewhere like this. Let's get our power poles down first. I ran out of power poles. Where are they? Power poles of the medium variety. And don't forget the cliff explosives. I'm not actually going to cliff explode anything here. Also, I'm carrying some. Power poles. Should be more than enough. Okay, um, so I want red belt up through here, red belt down through here, 
Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, red belt. This way. And like so. We're one off. Okay. I know just what to do. Except we're not finished making the mine, so never mind. Uh, let's get it functional for the moment. Make sure we don't run out of power again. It would help if I add these power poles. I know there's no belt there. Do we have enough drills? Probably not. That's okay. At least that's what I tell myself. Three drills left. We need 17. Well, I don't have the belt to connect these up anyway. But the idea was to do this. Got some more undergrounds. Can I handcraft some red belt? No. Okay. Let's go get ourselves at least 14 drills and a whole bunch of red belt. Uh, and run out of fuel and do the walk of shame. Can I handcraft? No, I can't. Do I have a car? It's way over here. Oh! Well, that's a very convenient random chest. That, that was scripted. Uh, it's still kind of a long walk just going back this far. Do I have... What would it take to get myself a fuel processor? Iron plate. I'm back from cutting the grass. I feel I lost a stone in sweat. Oof. Sloda, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, and that's one more drill that we don't have. We actually. Oh, 14. That's fine. Alright, so this goes here. And. Merge that in. Would you get, yeah, get off that bit of belt. And then this way. Fantastic. All right, so we just need to Oh, I need to run this up first. And once we've done that... Is, is that not gonna... Yeah, there we go. Uh, once we do that, I need to go get some fuel for the jetpack. So slow. At least we probably maybe have enough. Oops. Does that even. No, it does. Oh, free drills! Yes, please. Don't delete that pole. 
This is going to be way more than enough. You can also get some belt. Uh, I don't think we need it still. already to get our coal up this way. Whoops. Don't get hit by the train. Past hacks left so much support for the current hacks. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, all planned. All calculated. Can't even jump over this little tiny gap. Uh, and there it is. Is that empty? No, it's not. I guess like this. as well upgrade this thing. I can't believe I've got exactly one underneath -y. There we go. Um, we should really be using a fuel processor right here as well. There's one over this way. I don't think running the belt is going to be faster than going diagonally here. And our power is good and way beyond what we need, actually. Hence the surprise that we were low on power. Okay. Where do we get fuel? Over here? Oh, it's right underneath me. Give to me all of the fuel, please. Thank you. I didn't shift C it away. No, I don't think I can. Alright. We can move properly again. Fantastic. Um, I should have picked up some iron. Let's grab... I don't know what what kind of throughput we really need for running the power plant. More stone brick. Oh, that's going to be more than enough. Let me just unload some of these solar panels as well. Get them out of my inventory. That is going to mitigate how quickly we run out of coal. Quite a bit, actually. Even more so when we actually make some accumulators. Are accumulators still just iron and battery? Uh, yes, they are. I should hurry up and get on that.
Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Trying too hard. Gotta, gotta reach that sweet spot. probably configure auto trash each panel produces one kilowatt max uh, 100 yeah 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 that's what I meant to say no construction bots not yet uh, Dodara welcome welcome hope you're doing well your King Crowley welcome welcome also Almost, at, we're not even remotely close to out of solar panels. It's just been one machine that's been making these. We just left it for a while. Aziz light. Aziz light. But I'm putting down lighted substations, and we're in the snow. Mucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, alright, I'm just gonna put these in my trash slots for the moment. Let's grab, I already got the processed fuel. Put this away. I was testing clicking on things, fair enough. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, fuel, uh, processes so that we, we use like 10% less. How did this get on the belt? Uh, so we don't use quite as much coal for our steam engines. Yoink, whoops. Yoink, 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 and furthermore, yoink. And I guess we're going to get a rate calculation based on coal if we do this right now. And if this runs out... And we give it processed fuel. 0.15 per second or 9 per minute. 9 per minute is probably going to be easier to deal with. Uh, 48. These. 7.2 per second or 432 per minute. Okay. What does it take? to get 432 per minute. Not as many of these as I would have thought. Eight, to be precise. What happened to my ability to handcraft these? I think Shift C happened to my ability to handcraft these. Let's grab some of this. Small electric, uh, not small electric, single cylinder engine. And we needed eight, right? And then... Uh... I could just put them in a row. What about use long arms to pick them up? That seems good. As long as we have room for this, which we do. Even better. Not like that. about a sub station. Nothing's connected to it though. There we go. Six 
except for this over here. God damn it. How about medium pole? No? Yes? Fantastic. And I would prefer if we use both sides of the belt. There we go. Should have done that ages ago. And we wouldn't have run out of coal just yet. But I probably would have run out of coal from this little mine just a little bit later. Did we finish setting up this mine properly? Uh, nope. Because I didn't have the drills until I salvaged those depleted ones. Is this all covered? Yes. Fantastic. Alright, so 2.6 mil coal, that's going to last at least 7 minutes. Alright, um, so I think we've got enough, in fact I'm sure we've got enough to finish all of our research that only uses the science packs that we've got available. And that's right, I keep getting interrupted. I was running heavy oil uh, back up here to get lubricant. Left coal line is not properly connected. Left coal line. Oh, how did that happen? Good catch, thank you. Shazandra. Welcome, welcome. Doop -a doop. All right, did we? Don't tell me I just ran out again. Oh my god! Maybe I should carry a fuel processor with me, and then when I have random coal in my inventory, I can do this. That is actually really fast. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Except it's a whole other inventory slot. Except I can turn nuisance inventory into processed fuel. So, probably a good idea, actually. Um, yeah, I was running steel pipe back with the heavy oil. Nice and balanced. Fantastic. I carry like six stacks of processed fuel for my jetpacks, it's a bit silly. Yeah, until we get something a bit more energy dense. Although it is a thousand megajoules per stack. How much is everything else? Does nuclear fuel work in the jetpack? I don't think it does. That's like the same. And this is the same. Did they, like, downgrade the jetpack so that it uses more fuel? Hello, could you explain your mainstream build? Uh, do you mean, like, the main bus up here? Or something else? Alright, I'll be taking that. Is there a way to read a request from a LTN combinator? Uh, you can read the LTN train stop output when the train arrives, if that's what you're looking for, to check what the train is delivering or asking for. Jetpack can use rocket fuel, nuclear fuel, or processed. The main bus... Yes, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Crusher, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just run this uh, pipe up. I've been trying to get this done for a long time now. I keep getting distracted by one problem or another. Uh, 
and thank you for the follow. Alright, where are we going with this? Uh, steel pipe can probably reach across that. Yep. Steel pipe is OP. I love it. What is this that doesn't have any fluid in it? Oh, 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 that's what I'm trying to connect to. Okay. Um, we can just... Piccadilly is this down here. And unless I missed a corner or something, or just didn't do it yet, that will be our lubricant. Fantastic. Let me just power this first. Big pole. About here. I'm not going to be building anything here. Okay. That is lubricant. Uh, so the main bus base. Well, we put smelting up this end of it because that's the first thing that happens with uh, processing intermediate products into other products. And we pretty much, whenever we decide whether we want to put something on the main bus, um, if you don't know the production chains you're working with, it's always good to bus too much stuff rather than not enough. Um, this is not designed to be our ultimate base or anything. Um, so we're, we're limiting the scope somewhat. We're only doing two lanes. Uh, for most resources, two lanes should be more than enough. For as far as we're going to take this base. Um, but basically we've got a very accessible line of resources down the middle for each different intermediate product that we use in relatively high volumes. And oh my goodness, what happened here? How long until we get... ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Get it up, get it away. Wait, serious? If I hold the uranium in my hand, I don't take radiation damage. Fascinating. And that means I can fly around. Okay. Uh, let me just... Put a wooden chest here, I'll shove that in there, and leave. Narita, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That has been the case forever. How do you find K2 SE versus pure SE so far? Uh, it's a lot more work to do certain things, like make inserters, for example. But I'm really looking forward to some of the quality of life stuff. I particularly like the larger area under the medium power poles, for starters. Um, yeah, I wanted to check when we get installations. We actually just need rocket tech cards. I should hurry up and get those. I could do media point defenses, but I'd rather just skip them. For this base, anyway. Your gloves are lead lined, your pockets aren't, apparently. Okay, yeah, so basically, whether we decide to put an intermediate product on the bus or not depends on something like, for example, uh, in vanilla, if you look at iron gear wheels, they take two iron plate uh, to make one gear. So it's like twice as dense as iron plate on the bus, and they do get used in very high volumes. So this is always uh, very good. It's one-to-one -one in SEK2, but it's still rather convenient. 
um, to just take gears off the bus. Broken? Copper is broken. I'm sure it is. Um... So yeah, we just sort of keep expanding it out to the sides as we go. Um, I've been putting off making a mall and I've been handcrafting a lot of stuff, which doesn't take nearly as long if we pick up all of the intermediate products. Because I want to try to get to the point where I've got all of the... Like, everything that I want to bus for this base, I want to have on the bus before I try making a mall um, that's going to craft everything for me. But certain essentials that are very high volume and a big pain in the butt to craft, like inserters, belts, and power poles, we've already done. Oxymorin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can disable the radio radiation with command if you want. I just found it a nuisance. Fair enough. Big thanks for your help in explaining. No worries. I think I think a two belt main bus is actually a really good way. It, it's a really good introduction to it. Um, you don't have to build the biggest base to get a feel for main bus. And you'll get a feel for which which resources need more lanes uh, sooner or later anyway. It's a lot more work to make four lanes. This is taking forever. I had a one belt lane to kickstart my city blocks, fair enough. Two lanes is the upper limit for extremely easy to deal with, because a splitter just covers two lanes. You don't need any four to four balances or anything like that. You don't have to worry about... Well, you can in immediately rebalance it with just one splitter, so you don't have to worry about which belt is having more taken from it. Looks like a task for construction bots. Never. Is this... Yeah, it's fine. Besides, the construction bots would be agonizingly slow at this point. And I think they actually consume the same amount of power while they're moving, no matter how fast they go. So they would actually empty their batteries moving a short distance and then have to recharge a long time on a weak roboport that's poorly powered. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we just got lubricant. Did I line this up properly? Oh. Oh, I already did. Fantastic. So there's our... I didn't put this down earlier. No... Why haven't we made... Oh, I see. This also got hit, but not badly enough to break anything. Well, that's our big electric motors anyway. We're getting... 72 per minute. Uh, yeah, that's... That's going to be more than enough, I think. And I guess follow a robot count. Why not? Dis do distractors do anything damage wise? Shooting speed, damage. Yes, they do. They actually do laser damage. 5.1 per second, 8 plus 4.8 physical, versus 20 plus 8 laser. That just sounds better. 
stays on the deployed position. Oh, so it doesn't chase you. Rip. So I have to leave. My work called me. Take care, Crusher. Thanks for hanging out. Usually cannot support more than two red or blue belts anyway. Yeah, I mean, unless your unless your whole base is going to be a main bus base that you're kind of like planning from the start. Um, it it depends if you want to go to rail. Have a nice day and have fun. Thank you. You too. All right. So accumulators. Even if we're going to add more intermediate products, I think I would like to get an accumulator build going. I could even just do one machine here. If we've got one machine slowly churning out solar, why don't we just do one machine making accumulators for now? So we just need iron and batteries. I could even just do it like that. <laughs> You, you saw nothing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're out of red underneath themes. And we're not out of red underneath themes. Actually, how fast is this? Uh, very slow. Okay. Let's get a steel chest. Iron goes here. Wait, that's, that's plastic. No. Iron is all the way down here, actually. I thought it was further up. easy. And here it comes. Yeah, we don't need a fast inserter for that. I see you have a pet biter. Yes, indeed. This is our biter friend dog. We must protect. Okay. Anything else we can queue up for research? Uh, we are running out rapidly. All right. So what's? Let me go dump some of this stuff. Should probably lay out some more solar panels while I've already got them as well. Can I fit this here? Yes. Fantastic. Didn't I make a blueprint for this? I think I trashed it, actually. Print, snap to grid relative, shift, click, drag, and 20 by 20. Fantastic. Much better. Alright. First of all, the substations. I should activate my jetpack first. Oops. Whoops. Should probably have got rid of these first. That's uranium, isn't it? Put 
put it in my hands, and it doesn't hurt. Actually, can I just mitigate this damage with adaptive armor already? I think I have... Where did my solar panel go? For the, uh, for the modular armor. Did I not have... Here it is. Big portable... So I think I put it in the car. Yeah, because I was going to put a shield on it, but then I found out I couldn't. Big portable solar panel. Fill the rest with adaptive armor. We get 75 hit points once that actually charges. Actually, since it's night time... I could use this. Whoops. And I need to go get some more processed fuel as well. Adaptive armor will absorb some of the damage from the radiation that runs out. Yeah, I would expect that. Wait, what? Why can't I jetpack? Why can't I jetpack? I wonder. Okay. Oh, that's actually significantly slower. Shouldn't be shocked by that. That might actually suit placing these. I forgot why I was doing that. Let's pick this stuff up. And if there's any radiation damage in there, shield's going to absorb it. Fantastic. Solar panels. Where are we going? Let's get all the substations done first. solar right now. Fantastic. That is actually considerably ahead of where I thought we would be. How many solar panels is this? 32. Okay. TM? Yeah, soon TM. Five minutes. Speaking of which, I haven't taken a break yet. Oh wow, it's been four hours. Maybe I should have a break today. Let me just finish placing these solar panels so I don't have to change gear.
how much research is left? Uh, very little. I think if I let that run out, probably I'll have less than seven things left to queue up that we can research before adding another type of science card. Oh, and I think we've got everything we need to make the uh, satellite rocket silo now. Yeah, we do. Fantastic. Pretty sure we have to launch a rocket to get our science packs. We're down to 150 solar panels. Just kidding, there's a whole lot of them in a chest somewhere. Not sure how many at this point. some good looking solar. Wait, let me pick this up while I'm wearing the adaptive armor. And uranium is okay, that is damaging us quicker than expected. I just tested the adaptive armors, a single tier, a tier 2 isn't nearly enough. Need 3 times tier 2 to be somewhat stable. That's not quite enough. Yeah, uh, it did keep us from taking damage if we acted quick this time, though. Does it actually not hurt us if it's in a box? Huh. Well, that's a little bit surprising. Wooden box OP radiation shield. Just pick a doll and get back to the base. Yes. Alright, I think we'll take a break there. Uh, let's get some words on stream. It's a ra radiation shielded wooden box, obviously. Yes. Clearly. And... Copy link. Should be seeing it come up in a second. Fantastic. Uh, Healy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, we're going to do some words on stream starting in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes or so. I have gone a bit longer than I normally would before taking a break. So maybe slightly longer. I use a car to move it around. The trunk also is shielded. Nice. Oh, the trunk is... I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in not energy shields. All right. Uh, let's do some words. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Okay. Nicely done. Let's continue that later. And I'll actually try to remember to continue that later, as opposed to go another four hours without a break. Uh, it looks like we're down to just explosive damage that we can research without adding more data cards. Alright, uh, where are we up to? We got plenty of solar panels. We should have some accumulators. Not really benefiting from these adaptive armors, so let's put those away for now. We've got 84 accumulators. Huh. More than expected. Perhaps. Let's fly. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be a pretty effective way to place a bunch of these real quick. And they're gone. Okay. How are you, Rex? Playthrough looking good. Thank you, no afro. Uh, Seifercat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Veldak, you just missed words on the stream. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vlad, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. What'd you get up to? I might keep that, actually. I think I said it's fine about 20 times in 10 seconds. It was not fine. I have only said this is fine... Yes, times today. So, I wouldn't worry. You missed whole Sifa stream? I'm sorry. Um... Alright, so we've got this. We're going to need flying robot frames, right? Well, let's see. The satellite rocket silo uh, takes LDS rocket control unit, solid rocket fuel, and heat shielding. I don't actually have any of those yet. Should we get that done first, or bots? I think I'd like to get the science done first. We got a lot of stuff to research once that gets unlocked. What's our target? Um, I think I went for 120... Or no, 90 signs per minute for each of these. And what would this do? Does it actually tell us? Uh, if I put everything that it needs to make... Wait, let me check something. Science. Rocket tech card. How do you make it? Um, it's actually made in assembly machines, but we need satellite telemetry. Okay. So, how many... I'm going to guess it's the same number of machines. Rocket tech card. It's times 8 when these are times 5. But it only gives us 36 per minute. I have a feeling if we go for 90 per minute... Well, apparently we need, uh, 20, actually. 11.25 per minute for each of these. That doesn't sound like that much. 90 tech cards per minute. How fast are we making the tech cards? Did I ratio these for all of the other sciences only? Uh, 112 per minute. Wait, no, 450 per minute. We got 90... Okay, let's just... Why don't we just use rate calculator to see? Net rate, 180 per minute. We don't have to change this at all. 
we can support um, we can support 20 of these oops so we need 20 machines which is 11.25 satellite telemetry per minute um, I think I have to put a satellite in here, along with everything else, actually, in order for rate calc to tell us what we need to know. And power would be good as well. All right, 24, oh, that's rocket control units. Wait, what? Is something wrong here? Why is solid rocket fuel not getting put in? Oh, how did anything get put in actually? That was kind of weird. I think it has to launch a rocket before it might tell us how much satellite telemetry it's going to give us per minute. Editor extensions mod, you have to tweak the settings to get this behavior. Yes, if you go to mod settings, and then per player, uh, and then it is testing lab. I think force would work as well. That would be like on your team, uh, but I've got it set to personal. And you probably want to uncheck this sync inventory and cursor between play modes so that you can't like cheat items out of the testing lab. Regathian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You want extra to launch cargo rockets anyways, so no point doing a dedicated build just for the satellite. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, but I mean, we need to get it started. A cat is now liquid. Cat is always liquid. Okay. Um, is this gonna... Oh, I paused it. Let's give this some... Oh, I can actually just put this in. Yeah, I'm used to when I'm disembodied in the lab having to get bots to do that sort of thing. Didn't we do this before? Wait, what? It's telling us it's producing rocket parts. Oh, right, this. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if rate calc is gonna tell us how quickly this makes satellite telemetry. I was just saying that you could scale the intermediates to a belt and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. Does anyone know how often this launches if we supply it at full speed? Does it tell us the recipe time? Two seconds. So 200 seconds. I think that's it. But it's 200 seconds plus the animation time. I think. Let's call it like 240 seconds, just to be nice and pessimistic. We only get 100 satellite telemetry per launch, apparently. Didn't this used to be like a thousand, or was, the, or am I thinking of vanilla science packs? You don't need more than one for sure, even with like T3 prod modules. Just need two circuits so you don't delete data. Yeah, I'm more thinking about how quickly I have to put these inputs into it in order to keep up with this build. So we need 11.25 satellite telemetry per minute. Um, I guess if we're pessimistic, we pretend there's no animation time for this. So in two minutes, 
We need 200 LDS. Uh, is that right? Yeah. So 50 LTS per minute. One rocket control... Uh, 50 LTS RCU and heat shielding per minute. And 150 solid rocket fuel. I think. Alright, so less than one per second. Let's, let's aim for like one per second. LTS heat shield RCU. That should be more than sufficient. Where do I want to do these builds? We've only got... Oh! Yeah, no, I was going to say, we've only got one recipe for LDS at this point, surely. Um, if we're aiming for... What was it? 50 per minute? That's all right. That's 45. 54. That seems pretty reasonable to me. We could go a multiple of eight so that it's nice when we put beacons in later, if that's what we're going to do. That would need 720 copper plate per minute, 144 steel. What? How about per second? 2.4, 12, 12. How fast is this steel? 5. And then 10. Um, I think... I think we can pr probably handle that. Plastic. Uh, I think we overdid plastic. Well and truly. Where is plastic? Here it is. 28 per second. Okay, cool. So... That's probably the size of our LDS. We'll probably do something similar for rocket control unit. What's the crafting time like? Oh wait, heat shielding. I think heat shielding's like exactly the same. 10 seconds versus 10 seconds. And the inputs for this are actually surprisingly slow. Per minute, 72 seems good. Uh, rocket control unit. I don't suppose this is going to be the same number of machines. Uh, 24 per minute. That's surprisingly slow. Um, although thinking back to previous games, it's not that surprising. So we actually need more than double this. That should be more than enough. That's actually barely more than enough. But that would be if I was keeping this going at full speed. Uh, how many of these do I need? 11.25 per minute. And this would give us a hundred every two minutes. So if I cut it in half, fifty. Uh, no, it's already fifty per minute. If I cut it in half, we're still good. Um, uh, if I do like a third, I think we're good. What's a third of eight, though? <laughs> If we go six of these, 27 per minute. Uh, we need like 30 per minute for that to go full speed. No, I'm misreading it. Well, we, we will need heat shielding and LDS for other things. But yeah, I don't think we need to go 
anything like this crazy. I, I think that'll actually be fine. We'll have our surplus of these things for other purposes. Rocket control units don't go into much else. Um, we'll bottleneck on rocket tech cards. And I don't care if we're... We're, we're not trying to go full speed with this uh, satellite rocket silo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I will be moving things to the rail network later on, but like this, this is the starter base still. All right, so plastic. Do I want to do any more fancy belt? I think I've done enough fancy belt for a while. We can just do steel on long arm inserters and plastic and copper on the other belts. This one is kind of similar, I think, actually. All right, so for, for LDS, it's one per second for plastic and copper. Yellow inserters should be able to keep up with that very easily. Can we stop? With that now, seen enough of that. Um, let's add some simulated inputs here. Copper, plastic, and steel. Yeah, inserters are going to have no trouble whatsoever with that. Uh, heat shielding might be a little bit different. It should be the same shape. Probably. Heat shielding. There it is. And I think we still want steel on the outside. Uh... Stone tablet and sulfur. We'll probably have a local thing building stone tablets, but that's really, really... I just typed stab and that worked. How did that work? Stablet. I don't see S-T-A-B somewhere in there. Stablets. That's canon now. Uh, the other thing is sulfur, which we've already got bust. And we'll just do... What's the ratio like? 8 sulfur, 20 stone tablet. I think I do prefer that to be closer. 28 items in 10 seconds for the yellow inserters. The only question, I suppose, is whether we upgrade those to blue. Um, all right, so copy paste flip that because why not? Just making words up now? Yeah, that's how you win words on stream, right? S tab is the only way I can see it as in the S from stone and t tab from tablet. Fuzzy search usually splits things into three letter combinations and comp compares those. Returns everything that's similar enough. Nice. Very cool. Alright, um, these inserters are not even remotely struggling to keep up, I think. They were still going with the sulfur and stone tablet, actually, when that recipe finished. Yeah, I think, just to be sure, that should be blue. But other than that, very easy build. 
this is backwards. Whatever. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Oh, there it is. So even a yellow inserter can... Well, it is doing direct insertion, but... Should be able to easily keep up with the stone bricks. What's the rate? Three per second. Alright, and then rocket control unit. One to one to one to one, very slow. I wonder if we'll just be doing two belts of input. It's a mystery. We could save a little bit of space by having the double inputs between the machines, but... I like this more, I think. And I'll just confirm... Actually, do I even need to? 30 seconds, 5, 5, 5, and 5. No, that'll definitely work. Okay, so do we have everything on the bus already? Yes. Uh, yes-ish. Stone tablet can be made there. And yes. Hey, Akira. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so the next thing is... Just deciding where we put this exactly. So we're going to go... I always find myself saying or thinking Heat Shield LDS in that order. So I kind of want to put Heat Shield and then LDS. So this could go... Why don't I put these three like next to each other? Heat Shield LDS... It's also kind of fits better with the, uh, with this sloping up this way. Are two stone tablet assemblers enough? Oh yeah, more than likely. Um, stone tablets are made very, very quickly. Oh, well then. Two on each side. I guess. And the neatest place to put those... I kind of want to do um, a stone brick input here and then just sneak this through. Stab assemblers from now on. Yeah, that's actually exactly zero. Alright. Put that there. Haven't got a knife. Shaman streams. Good. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Let's copy this across. Let's figure out how this is going to fit exactly. Um, something like this. Probably. Rocket control unit. I should probably leave room for substations between them. Nice and neat and easy. So this is going to look something like that. Uh, 
I dare say we can move these down a few tiles. Probably. I should be consistent with this. How about like that? And like that. Power poles can be ugly, indeed. Uh, yeah, pretty clear where our inputs are going to be. There should be more than enough room. It all lines up very neatly. We got room for substations. I like this pretty well. Now to just paste that, uh, paste, rather, paste that into our game. Wait, why is it up there so far? Oh, because this didn't get extended before. Um, uh, okay. I didn't just cancel something in here, did I? No. I'm trying to press undo. So this goes uh, here. Transport belt is in the way. Which transport belt is? Oh, I think I see it. Probably. Well, the point is we're measuring this anyway. That's looking a bit more like what we're looking for. Alright, let's get to building. Uh, we've got 11, we need 52 assembly machine 2s. Let's grab some steel. Small electric motors, electronic circuits. Steel plate. Oh, that's nice. There's no steel plate in storage just yet, but it's... I was going to say it's getting there, but it's all going to ammo for the moment. Which isn't that bad. Uh, what else do we need? Stone brick, automation core, iron plate. Inventory to not be as full. Iron plate. Fantastic. And what are we short on? Gears. Now what? Iron plate. Uh, stone brick again. And we can handcraft all of those super quick. One interrupted band? One interrupted band. No automation for assemblers yet? Uh, no. Because I just want to get all of the, um, intermediate products that we're going to do in this base done. Before I build them all. Since we're not going to be able to use bots, um, and it's going to have to all be on belts. We've got tanky biters now. Regenerative tanky biters. That could become a problem. You've got it fixed by the time of reading. Okay, no worries. 
Um, we need like three of these. More concrete. Did I bust concrete? I think so. Yes. Yes, I did. New biters? Yes, indeed. Uh, the new biters aren't coming just yet, so don't get too scared. It'll be okay. Straight... Stray to Mayo? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Jax, welcome back. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, let's place some of these. And we needed... Actually, I bet the steel... Oh. And we're dying. Let's get this uranium out of our hands. Now where were we? I'm guessing the steel throughput. Oh. Careful. I'm guessing the steel throughput for all of this is going to be quite slow. We could maybe even do it with one belt. Does this even use steel? It doesn't. So what's our rate? 4.8 per second. Less than a third of a yellow belt. That's our steel belt. So I think what we'll do is... Snake it through like this. Some fast inserters. Uh, Mirsbach, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab some more yellows as well. And why not long arms? Gonna need a few. Don't need the undergrounds, hence, uh, since you output at the bottom. Yeah, I just felt like it. I think we actually save metal by, um, I think vanilla reds are, like, the same metal cost, uh, if they jump six tiles. Blues actually save you metal uh, compared to regular belt, and yellows, uh, actually cost you extra. That's not quite right. One, two, and three. And we need sulfur and stone tablet. So this is stone brick. Where are we getting stone brick? I think it's this one? No, that's something else. Is this stone brick? Yes, it is. Uh, and we want 
want it up here. So this one. Let's copy those across. That's gonna line up with that, so why don't we just keep it consistent looking. Put some substations right about here. Nice and neat. And we just ran out of a stack of them. Perfect. Air sticks, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so sulfur. How much sulfur do we need? Have we already been producing it? 9.6 per second. That's not sulfur. I think that's our sulfur build. Yeah, there it is. I did leave room to expand it quite easily. Uh, eight per second. Alright, let's do something about that, shall we? I need some more chemical plants. Chemical plant? Oh, it's under this. Because of course it is. Uh, glass is what I'm missing. actually about right. Um, I might just pick a dollies this over. How many more am I making? Two. This is not going to be a copy-paste consistent build just yet. Underground pipe, whoops. Like this, and like this. Let's go grab some iron so we can make a regular pipe. some underground pipe. Let's get the sulfur out of my inventory. And power poles. There's the rest of our straight pipes. Uh, I lied. Time to double the belt. What's that mod? Saves moving all the stuff. Uh, it is called Picker Dollies. You just hold down shift, point at something, and use the cursor keys like this. And for long inserters and maybe some other things I can't think of right now, uh, you can... There's another keybind. I changed the default one. Um, but in vanilla you can only flip them. You can only rotate them like this. Uh, but with Piccadillies you can do this as well. And also, if you... If you want to look at a circuit without breaking it, you can, it, it'll keep the wire connections and the combinator settings. Uh, it'll work with power poles and stuff like that as well, and it won't let you cheat by stretching the wires too long or anything. 
so very very handy for looking at like a, a complicated circuit that's made to be nice and compact and you can pull this apart and say like okay this is actually a pulse generator and then what's going on over here and so on game changer absolutely that's brilliant oh this is no that's not working yet it's because i put stuff in the output Once we see it outputting gas, then we know it's working. Or if we see both of the inputs. Alright, so that is 20 sulfur per second. That's actually more than this belt can handle. In fact, are these yellow inserters too slow? per second. No, they shouldn't be. And then let's grab some red belt. Red belt. Not that much, please. Whoops. Tried too hard. Uh, did I really just... Oh, I see what I did here. So this is where the bus starts. Okay, where did we need... I think this was it here. We need to bring our sulfur belt all the way across. Can I just copy this, drag it across? Much better. Going into a chest, the inserters would have been fine. Got to account for the uh, drop time. They have a stack size of two, so... Worst case, I could use um, loaders to get them out. Or I could just change those to fast. It's fine. Where are we going? Uh, we actually need to go this far, at least. And we need to not die. Not dying complete. They don't quite swing once per second when dropping two items on a, a partially filled yellow belt. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Um, I want to see it in action. I was actually curious about that. One particular build where I did all the math not that long ago, where everything should be able to, like the belt should be able to take X amount and the inserters should be able to keep up and everything. Um, there's like two machines that don't quite do what they're supposed to do. Uh, and what I had to do to get the throughput that the machines should actually support is basically make it so that there's these separate sections of belt that the inserters output onto that's always empty and then it merges into the rest of the belt with splitters. Okay, so I think it was sulfur on this half of this belt. Yes, because this is steel. Speaking of which, where is our steel? Don't try to trick me, that's not steel. Um, 
so steel is going here. I went past it, didn't I? We don't need a whole lot of it. And I actually want half a belt of sulfur here, half a belt of sulfur here on opposite sides. Maybe I should do it the other way around. Let me just pick this up. And pick this up. Put that back where it belongs. And we could use a splitter. Sulfur on this side. And we could do the same thing over here. Nice and easy. So sulfur is going to be... wait. How much are we, how much are we needing? 9.6 per second. Yellow belt should be fine. Okay. That goes there. And there. There, and there, and there, and so on. Can I just hold this down? Yeah, I can. I learned that the other day. Or relearned. Fight a friendo triggering my enemy detected part of my brain. Uh, Bumble Diret, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is the mod that allows you to go into another map and design stuff? It is called Editor Extensions, and you'll want to go into Mod Settings, Per Player, and under Editor Extensions, extensions, uh, testing lab, something other than off, and then probably you want to uncheck this as well, unless you want to cheat. Probably don't want to share your cursor stack between the two surfaces. Pink pajamas, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I didn't leave room. Uh oh. Uh oh. Didn't leave room. Wait, wait. I don't need to leave room for the long arm here. Derp. Is there even a limited life on a friendly biter? Apparently not. I was gonna assume that it would work like a defender capsule. Um, but people told me it would last indefinitely. Alright, that's our heat shielding. Let me just double check again. Stone tablet, net rate zero. Um, so this belt is going to look barren unless this backs up. So in practice, it's a pet. Yes. It's a biter on your team. I think it's just a starting one that is infinite. Tried hard not to have him ever despawn or make sure he respawns. Okay. Now, we know we've got everything on the bus for this. Oh, I just need copper and plastic even. Because I already did the steel this way. Copper and plastic. Uh, 
We're a bit short on red belt for the moment. Let's steal that that one design from myself. Plastic. Goes here. Is this it? Yes. And come to think of it, I could probably do something similar here. Uh, 12 per second for each, so if it's a red belt... Are we ever going to speed it up enough that... No, I don't think so. Not with the scale of this base. So we're going to do this instead. Red splitter. Plastic. We're out of red belt. We are not out of red belt. Where did my heels go? Oh. Right. I'm surprised that works. That's interesting. So if I put a ghost for yellow undergrounds here, I have to click twice to build that. But if I put a ghost for yellow undergrounds and then place a red underground on, on, on top of it, it does the same thing upgrading it as if the belt, the underground belt was already there. I don't suppose it works the other way around. Oh, okay, let's say this is four tiles. No, it does. Well, that could save a few clicks. If you're really serious about that. Right, what do we need? Copper. Uh, let's move that across. And this goes here. Perfect. Wow. Splitter. It's actually yellow. Oh, I don't think the yellow belt is enough. 12 per second. Yes, it is. And then that's it. That's LDS. Whoops. So easy when we can do it with uh, editor extensions first. Run out of yellow starters. Yoink. Tablets should really be on its own belt? What do you mean? Starting... Oh, the biter, yeah. Yellow belt not fast enough for tablets. Uh, let's see. 12 tablets per second. Uh, that would seem to be correct. That's weird. Oh, the inserters aren't keeping up with getting rid of them. I was going to say it's weird because then they are keeping up, but that's not true. Good catch. Alright, what's this? Uh, battery, advanced circuit. 
Where did I put... Yeah, there we go. They should be close to each other. Battery, advanced circuit, plastic... No, no plastic. Glass and iron plate. Um, let's measure this out. Whoops. Let's do it this way. Red circuit. They're all the same very slow speed, right? One to one to one to one. So I'll put... Since this is closer, I'll put red circuit and batteries on the first one. Batteries. Uh, and we need this thing again. Up we go. Red circuits. Um, and I'm pretty sure the rate for these is minuscule, so yellow belt is fine. And we can do this again. And the eight reds. And then we need iron plate and glass. Iron plate is all the way back here. Let's pick this up. at least. It was iron plate and glass, wasn't it? Glass is down here. This bus is getting kind of long. So a bit further. Oops. Alright, let's measure this backward, uh, grab that thing again, except without the extra bits. This goes here, I think. Let's make sure. Love a good long neat bus. I thank you for calling it neat. And then this goes here. Why don't we just copy paste that across real quick? And then we can see where this is going to fit. Perfect. Oops. Okay. 
And I do believe that is rocket control units. So now we just need rocket fuel uh, to put into the silo. We also need to actually make the silo. Two stacks of this. Uh, one stack of red circuit. F five stacks of steel plate. Ten stacks of concrete. I'm gonna run out of room. Five stacks of steel plate. Oh. I see how it is. Two, three, four, five. It's surprising to me how... I guess it's because it tends to go to the left side, but there's never any steel in these chests, and yet there's always steel at all points across the belt. That is a fine balancing act for now. And then we need 10 stacks of concrete. Uh, I'm sure I'm putting it in a chest. There we go. And pipe. There we go. It's just that easy. I always put components on one side though. And do the four belt two gap config. You see the benefit of this two belt two gap one though? Yeah, it's easy. That's the main benefit. And it's enough for like our starter starter base. Like obviously our starter starter base is this spaghetti nightmare back here. Um but this'll get us to like the mid game. Well, depending on how you define mid-game, I mean, if we look at the the amount of time a playthrough of space exploration takes, uh, mid-game isn't for, what, another 200 hours? Is that even an exaggeration? Here's a question. How many starter bases can you have before it's no longer a starter base, right? I kind of like seeing some of this stuff on the belt, just so I can very clearly, viscerally see that we've got it. It also teaches me where my stuff is located, so I don't have to come and check that often. Um, how do I have refined rare metals in my inventory? Whoops. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I made the rocket silo. Um, should I just put it, like, here? Rocket fuel. Is that going to be different to what we're used to? Uh, I'm guessing it's not made in a chemical plant. But it is made in... Uh, a fuel refinery? Which I think is actually quite a lot like the uh, fuel refinery from Vanilla SpaceX, except smaller. And it has this recipe, for example. But yeah, rocket fuel from iron plate, light oil, and oxygen. Rocket fuel from iron plate ammonia and oxygen. I don't know how to get ammonia yet. Or hydrogen chloride. Uh, 50... Oh, one solid rocket fuel becomes 50 liquid rocket fuel. I don't have pyroflux yet. I haven't actually done any core mining. I don't know if we get pyroflux from core mining, actually. Uh, is this the only way? Rocket fuel. 
iron plate plus ammonia, iron plate plus hydrogen chloride, iron plate plus light oil, plus oxygen. Coal, iron, pyroflux, oxygen. Okay. It's a little bit more realistic. I guess we're going to do light oil for the most part. Just like, we do, just like we normally would. So iron plate, light oil, and oxygen. Uh, oxygen, since we're on a planet with oxygen, uh, we can get just by running one of these machines. 45 per second. How much do we need? Uh... I can't remember the ratio we were going for with, like, the rocket silo. What would be in line with this other stuff. Let's see. 72 of these... 24 rocket control units per minute. That's probably our bottleneck. Yeah, it is. Um, 2 seconds times 100, 200 seconds... 100 rocket control units in 200 seconds. So 50 per minute. So we're going to go just under half speed. Um, if we need... Three times... Oh, we need three times whatever our rocket control unit production is. That That's, that's going to be a good way to do it. And maybe a little bit more, since we'll probably put rocket fuel into some other things. So... Let's aim for 72 per minute, just like we did with these other things, as it turns out. 72 per minute. Uh, just one of these does 60, actually. So, two it is, I think. It has that annoying layout with the fluid inputs. Um... So I guess we'll just copy what we did with uh, sulfur. Probably need no more than two rocket fuel makers. Yep, that's that's how it is. So something like this. Um, what do we make it out of? Iron and those chemicals. Light oil and oxygen. Oh wait, what was the oxygen usage? Let's pretend these two are going to go full speed. Sometimes they will. 120... Wait, what? 2,000 per second? Uh-oh. Um... How, how many... Wait, where are we going to... What was that machine called? That gives us the oxygen. Atmospheric condenser. Yeah, so... We need how many of these? Uh, the answer is yes. If we string them all together, do they... Like... Share? Or... Not. Uh, we're about to find it. I don't think so. This wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we could just do a line like this. That's pretty neat. Um, it seems a bit much, but whatever. So how many of these do we need to keep up with one of these? 1,000 per second. Good grief. Uh, we need just over 22. That seems like a little bit much. And we needed, uh, 
We were aiming for 72 per minute with this. Mm. So 72k per... Uh, 72,000 per second if this. I want it to be capable of that consistently, actually. I don't know, a hundred of these? That It seems like I shouldn't have to do that. It's not so bad with speed modules. Like, am I missing some other way of getting oxygen? I mean, taking it right out of the atmosphere seems like probably the easiest way to do it, right? Yeah, no, that's basically it. Uh, taking it from water is probably not the most efficient way. So I'm just going to need a vast array of these somewhere. Um, hmm. 2k per second, 1.4. Yeah, uh, this should be more than enough, actually. It's not as, it's not quite as big as I thought. All right, I guess we'll build twenty-eight, and f let, let's let's make it an even thirty. Thirty and fifteen of these somewhere. Um, and then we need iron and light oil. Need to run the light oil up from here again. Um, and the question is where I want to put it. I guess the most sensible place would be... Right next to the other three things that go into the satellite rocket silo. We can put another... Uh, we can put another one of these there as well. Although, just having two of these next to each other like that, I don't think... layout's going to be quite so similar. Maybe something like this, not quite. We could even just... What's the rate? One per second each. That should be fine. Alright, uh... In that case, I think this will go up here, question mark? I think I'm not leaving room for our rocket science if I do that. Let's see, our rocket science build is going to be this big. And its input is... That's going to get a bit messy. What if... We've got a lot of room up here to put this somewhere. Electric fur... None of these things are on the bus. We're going to get that directly from here. Uh, electric furnaces... Alright, I guess we're reverse... I guess we're figuring out where this, this build is going to go before we go further. Electric furnace, everything is on the bus except for the lower tiers of furnace. And that doesn't even have a one-to-one -one ratio or anything. Uh, how many electric furnaces do we need? 
11.25 per minute is kind of the cleaner way of looking at it. Uh, one of these does 9 per minute. Okay. In that case... Since the steel furnace overproduces by 6, I think we just need one machine making steel furnaces and two making electric furnaces and then over here we're net positive on regular furnaces so we need stone stone brick and steel uh Heat shielding, steel, and red circuit. Why don't we do heat shielding and red circuit? Steel in between these two. Maybe. Gonna work the way I wanted to. So I'm thinking steel and stone brick, heat shield and red circuit, and then stone. And then, and then the direct insertion doesn't really look that good. You could put the steel furnace between the two electric furnaces. Uh, that might be better. So we have, let's illustrate this, red circuit, red circuit, heat shielding, steel, stone, That's it, I think. That looks a lot better. Oh, and of course this. I forgot the stone brick. We can put that here. So if I go S brick, it does. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna try and learn to take more advantage of the fuzzy search. So yeah, we'll be net negative on steel furnaces, but it'll be more than enough to feed um, steel furnaces into all of these. Let's just prove that real quick. Actually, I could just rate calculate it. Wait, no, I can't, because this thinks we'll be getting 18 electric furnaces per second. Alright, so... Void... Actually, why don't I just do what I usually do here? Void like that. Uh, long arm inserters. Chest. Move the 
Steel furnaces. Uh, I imagine everything's going to be slow enough. Oh, that's... How about this? What's our rate per second? Incredibly slow for everything. Shouldn't that second long inserter be one further up? The second one? Second long inserter. Second long insert. Oh, I see. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. Don't worry about it. In fact, never speak of this again. Okay. Uh, unless I speed up the game, which is going to speed up this game, I can't really quickly check. Um, but if we check back here in a few minutes, we should find... All of these machines uh, uh, are outputting consistently. It might take a while to saturate. Maybe I should move it out of the way um, and then we can continue designing other stuff if necessary. Could save scum it? Yeah, that's a good point actually. Let's do that. All right, time, go burr, and we see one by one the assembly machines going on. The yellow inserter into the steel furnaces isn't quick enough. This one? Uh, true. It's only trying to do... Oh yeah, three per second, but with two different resources. I could see that being a problem. All right, we're up to the fourth last one. Kids these days, in my times, we used we used to math everything and testing in real math. We did math it. We're just proving it. And it looks like it's working. And we should start to see... Yeah, steel furnaces are accumulating. Perfect. I might put... Uh, storage for steel furnaces at the end of that as well. But, oh, okay, let's let's fix our time. Load our game again. Not that one. Okay. So. Uh... Apart from, basically apart from speed modules, that is going to be our build. I guess I'll leave the long arm inserters. And we'll move this around a bit. Only thing is to figure out exactly where I want this stuff. Uh, 
Do I want to bring it all the way back here? Quite like that. If I put the silo somewhere like this, we could easily take the these products off of the belt like so. Bring it up here. That would actually reduce our spaghetti a bit. Uh, electric furnace build. I guess somewhere like here. We're not going to bus electric furnaces. Iron plate, light oil and oxygen. Oxygen from here, light oil is going to come from down south. Uh, let's use the... Actually, I don't think this is enough space here. One of these has to have undergrounds immediately, which means, yeah, move that over a bit. That's probably going to be the better fit for light oil, because it'll be coming from down south. I guess it doesn't really matter. And oxygen from up there. When I somehow do the... The iron's going to be super slow, right? Two per second. It's not that slow, but... I mean, it's not as slow as I almost expected. But it is quite slow. So we'll do something like this. Let's put that... Here, I think. And then... We should easily be able to fit. I could probably just put this, like, behind, honestly. I could do our red belt coming up this way easily enough. And then this, 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 and this goes up here. This goes over here. We also need to make... We're going to get the blank tech cards from... Uh, I think this belt? Somewhere here anyway. That just leaves speed module tier 1. Are there any surprises? making speed module tier one. I have three machines and I'm launching plenty of cargo rockets, yet never running out. Rocket fuel doesn't need to be fast, yeah. Is the map editor a mod? Yes, it's called editor extensions. You can't run the oxygen in one pipe. That is a good point. Although I think if we just... It's only 2,000 per second, actually. As long as we have um, pumps frequently enough, that won't actually be a problem. Worst case, we have to put a pump here as well, but I doubt it. 1,200 per second is... Yeah, pipe speed isn't a fixed... Um, let me demonstrate... Well, it doesn't matter how long these are, actually. Uh, Lonesome Wolf, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? So if we have... Uh, let's put a contain... Actually... No, uh, 
I'll, I'll put an infinity pipe here temporarily. We'll fill this up with something. Let's say water. Um, and we're going to go... Pipe speed is not fixed, but it doesn't even get close to 2k a second. It does, though. Uh, I won't even use a steel pump. I'll use a regular pump. And... I guess I'll just wait till this is full. Well, for starters, I'll do from one big container to another big container. And we're just going to point at the pump and look at the throughput. Uh, theoretical maximum is 1,200. It's currently doing 11,000. I meant to say 12,000. Alright, so it can obviously go that fast. Now what if we have... A bunch of underground pipes, pumps, so we just have only two pipe sections between each pump, so basically like this. Doesn't matter how far this stretches with the way fluids work in Factorio, so I'm just going to put this uh, here. We're going to connect this up and we're going to look at how fast the pump goes. And it is 3.75 thousand. That's going to be more than fast enough. Now what if we have... Uh, what if we have significantly fewer pumps? Something like this. Let's uh, let's empty this side out. Let that fill up for a sec. And then we're going to connect this. And we still get 2.3k per second. The trick is every input fluid container needs to be permanently full and every output container permanently empty. Um, well, if it's sucking up the fluid as fast as you're put, uh, pushing it in, it's going to reach an equilibrium there. Also, with how long the steel pipe stretches, uh, it's not going to be a problem at all to have the number of pumps we need. Although, with all of these containers connected like this. Maybe. Let's find out. I don't particularly want to build this in a big tall row like so, but I want to run the experiment. So we're just going to put a regular pump and we'll give this what it needs so that it will consume our oxygen. Uh, iron plate, and then light oil, oops, light oil. Alright, so we are bottlenecking on oxygen. How fast is this? Wait, do we have enough production? It's only 1.35k per second. I forgot. We're only we're only sizing this so that we can keep up with like one point something of these fuel refineries. So there's that as well. Um, there's like 5,000 up here, but nowhere near enough down here. Hmm. That might be a bit of a problem. We can't just... No. We can't even get like four of these around.
double it up and put it in speed one modules. Some speed modules might help. I mean, they will help. How much power does this use? 400 kilowatts. That's a surprisingly large amount. Yeah, like, I think if, if we really want this to go f somewhat fast, it's got to look something like this. Good grief. So how fast is this? 450 per second? We're not even... We're like a third of the way there. I don't want to have to build this up three times. That seems excessive. What if... this. Can't flip that. What are we up to? 900 per second? That's getting there. And then... Maybe? Can we put this down here? Yeah, we can. That might be better. Hold on. Ideas are forming. Is that actually going to do it? This looks more than a little excessive, but what can you do? Whoops. Great cow. 1.35k per second. That's what we're looking for. You can see from that getting emptied, uh, it is pushing it all through. And we will bottleneck on the oxygen uh, most of the time, but... But not on the solid rocket fuel. Let's let that accumulate for a sec. Single lines outputting in outputting to a pipe and scaling them to 1.2k per line. I do realize that like this could go back this way, but I think I mean you can see by how empty these uh, containers are. The pumps are doing their job. We've got like 45k in the bottom one, and nothing anywhere else. Each row is slow, so that's not a factor. Oh, I missed, um... No, I didn't. This is connected here. Derp. And this is busted, actually. Don't know how that happened. Alright, so we got like 93,000 oxygen here now. Uh, let's start consuming our solid rocket fuel. So if the oxygen is there, it is getting pumped in more than quick enough. No problem.
Alright, cool. I think we'll actually go with that. What is this? Get out of here. Alright, so we got... Electric furnaces up here. Oh yeah, we were figuring out... Solid fuel. I think we need a fuel refinery for that. It's just light oil, petroleum, or heavy oil. Is it going to be the same as vanilla, where it's better to use light oil? It's, it uses half as much, so yeah, I would say so. Let's just do that. Since when do we need solid fuel to make speed modules? How many do we need? Uh, let's see. Per minute, 11.25. Uh, we need four machines. 120 solid fuel per minute. That's exactly what this produces. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Ninety-six electronic components? Oh, that's per minute. Okay. Okay. Don't scare me like that. Uh... Electronic components, I don't think I bust those, I think... I think we sort of had them squeezed up this way. We're making 720 per minute and consuming 360 per minute. Did I actually calculate this earlier? Electro electronic components usage, advanced circuit, big portable solar module, flying robot frame, military tech. I didn't bust them though. Yeah, maybe I should have. Express splitter. Oh yeah, I did prepare to use them for that as well. It's not th that many things. Yeah, I can see why I would consider not bussing them. But since we need them for modules, I kind of regret not doing it. But we could split that and bring it up across here. Um, that really is going to be a little bit of regretty spaghetti. We don't need a, a lot of throughput for it, though. So it's going to be, let's say, green circuits and solid fuel. We can move this. Something like... Like that. Solid fuel, uh, green circuit, oh wait, green circuit's here, and we'll bring, uh, we'll bring in the, uh, electronic components with some around the side of the main bus spaghetti and then output up here are all the module one recipes the same uh... they are not they both they all use green circuits and electronic components. Copper cable, glass, or solid fuel. That's a little bit inconvenient. But we could take advantage of this belt for some of those as well. Alright. But I think I'll just do a yeah, I think I'll just do a dedicated um, speed module build here. So we got... We may as well put the output 
on this belt. Or even... No, I think that's the... That's the best spaghetti we can come up with there. I could move this down a few tiles. At least two... Actually, it looks a bit spaghetti, but it's planned spaghetti, so it doesn't count. Yeah, that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so this will be speed modules and electric furnaces. And then we need blank data card, which we've already got, satellite telemetry, which we've got from here. Okay. Turn the reds. They all have a different special ingredient. Yeah, I know. Turn the reds. Oh, the long arms? No, those will be picking up uh, electronic components from this belt. Red chips are spilling. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, I think that is basically it. Let's make it a little bit easy on ourselves and mark where things are going to go. Heat shielding. Uh, this is stone brick and steel plate. Stone. Uh, green circuits. And... components. What else? Light oil. Oxygen. I mean, I think we'll figure that out, but anyway. What's the name of this unsweet editor mode? Uh, so the mod is called editor extensions and if you go to settings mod settings per player uh, scroll down a little bit perhaps you'll find editor extensions and the last setting is testing lab uh, that's it basically automatically teleport to a testing lab when entering the map editor uh, back out when you leave the editor Disabling inventory sync allows you to use this in a cheat-proof way in regular playthroughs. Looks lovely to not have a separate editor save. It really is. Uh, for something like the Foenestra thing, uh, where it's dealing with separate surfaces, you will need a separate save to mess around with that. But for this stuff that we're doing right now, obviously. It's brilliant. Not that it isn't brilliant to be able to mess around with like the Foenestra stuff in a separate save as well, but this is... Uh... Oh, I changed that a little bit. Okay, let's... Let's remove this. And can I paste this here with no troubles, basically? Might have to move that substation a bit. 
that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's just put the substations in after I figure this out. Uh, after I place this, that is. No, we're one off. Alright, fine, we'll put one here. Oops. Okay. We need... I think I've got a spare fuel refinery sitting around. Or is that the one that I just placed? Meteorites reckon our old base. Absolutely merciless. We need two more fuel refineries. For that I need everything apparently. Iron, EC, steel, and more iron. Steel, EC. A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Editor extensions works fine for space buildings. I just had to lay scaffolding as a layer first. Interesting. So in this version of the editor, you mean? Like within a save? Oh, I forgot. Wait, no, that works. So you're telling me... If I grab a space manufacturing, I can not put it here. Oh, wait, what? What are you trying to tell me? Just move it one tile to the right. Same surface. Okay. Um, do I have steel pipe? Yes. We'll go as far up here as we can fit it, I think. And we'll probably build this absolute monstrosity. I, I haven't decided exactly where to put that yet, but it'll be around here somewhere. these. Small electric. Okay. Give to me the small electrics. And what else? Iron plate. Uh, we're handcrafting a few cogs. Let's not I've missed some streams. How close are bots? Uh, I could get bots now, but they wouldn't be very good yet. And I want to finish a couple of other things first because we're not doing any research right now. What do I need here? Steel, steel beams. could be handcrafting them right now. Even bad bots are amazing compared to no bots. Only a bit. Alright, uh, this will be stone. How far down do we go for stone? This far down. This one, this one, 
And I believe this is stone. Uh, splitter. Splitter. Check that it's stone. Yes, it is. Plastic. Green circuit is two, three below stone. One, two, three. Uh, what else? Steel and stone brick. Oh, I should have those machines built. Yeah, I have way more than I need. Heat shield, red circuits, those are pretty close together. Let's grab this thing, minus that. Heat shield first. Fantastic. Iron plate goes here. Oh, that is going to actually have to... Nope, that's going to be in the way. I'm going to have to do this thing again. Where we veer off by another tile. Oh, I actually did need those two. That I copy-pasted and got rid of before. Those two undergrounds. Iron plate. Is that plastic or iron? That's plastic. Where's iron plate? Here it is. Iron plate. And plastic. How did this get here? And nothing else. Probably while I was building it. Um, I'm gonna need... Well, let's just get this started first. Do I have a big container? No, I need a lot of steel. Let's grab the beans. Let's grab the steel. And let's make one of these. Let's make two. Gonna need a pump. So how does a steel pump work? I guess it's the pump that actually limits the throughput, ultimately. This can go to 1.8... Uh, 18,000, rather. Hmm. I should make some more pumps while I'm at it. We've got plenty of room for substations. In this build. Oh, we're one off being able to connect them nicely like that. Rip. It's fine. At least those four cover everything. We'll put down a power pole somewhere. Let's go get those substations. Got nothing making the large motors? Do you mean big electric motors? Yes, I do. Substation... We should have quite a lot of oxygen by the time 
We're actually making the rocket fuel. Whoops. What? Wait, what? There we go. Did I connect the stone already? I don't think so. No. I mean, I planned it, but... I need to... actually get the belt to reach. Oh yeah, we can do it this way. That's a bit faster. Just a... just a tad. And then we need stone brick and steel. This time, we won't need that particular pair of undergrounds. And then it turns out we do. Is this steel? Yes, it is. So where exactly does it line up? Right about here? You're joking! The same pair of undergrounds really is there. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Someone's having a giggle. Uh, so this is... Steel plate. And we have to add stone brick to this. Is that stone brick? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Why don't we just have a little red as a treat? Alright, so that is all of these inputs done. And we need uh, just red circuits, actually. Easy enough. I mean, the ones used in condensers. Used in condensers? I didn't even notice. Oh, multi-cylinder engine. I actually don't think I did. How many things do multi-cylinder engines go into? I must have thought about this. Sil... What? Engine. Here we go. Right click, car, flamethrower turret, air purifier, atmospheric condenser, filtration, gas, steel pump, locomotive, portable generator, small portable. Alright, so yeah, there's not a whole lot. I don't think we need to bust this. I think I probably came to that decision before. Almost exclusively mall, yeah. Um, what was here? Green circuits? Circuits. Oh, I even measured that down before. I, did I just run out of fuel? Did. Get out of here, Cole. That was definitely a good idea, carrying around a fuel processor. Alright, so we got green circuits, we have solid fuel if we had the light oil, uh, we just need to spaghetti uh, electronic components down here, 
but before I do that, I want to know where everything else goes. So, that involves placing this somewhere. And I think this time I'll actually place a ghost here so that we can more easily... Oh, that's right. I was going to add the... I was going to add this science here. That's a little tricky now, but... It's not a disaster. Let's say we put that there. Where am I going to get the data cards from? The uh, Plank Tech cards, that is. We're going to split it from here-ish, I think. Yeah, I think I have to. Or I could split it from here, for example. Uh, this should be sufficient. So let's say... We've got a bit of regretty spaghetti going on here. There's not quite enough space to do this elegantly. But let's say our blank tech cards come... I, I could even go through here if I have to. I might have to. I could use some definitely not belt weaving. You saw nothing. No nothing at all, actually. And then... So we got blank tech cards, satellite telemetry. Well, all, all three of the other things are going to come from this side. So maybe... Maybe I should just bring it over to the other side first. The corner at the labs could move left one tile. Oh, this thing? Yeah, you're right. Nice. And Chipsy, get that out of my inventory. Get a whole lot out of my inventory, as it turns out. Uh, same deal here. Oh, there was never any suggestion of belt weaving. We have always been at war with belt weaving. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Belt weaving, best weaving. Data Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tumbling Satellite, good to see you again also. I believed in you, Hanex. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so we're going to get our data cards up that way. Can I actually... I can't get through this little... Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. This doesn't count as belt weaving. It's fine. I, I, see, I can use reds, so it doesn't count. Just because that's overlapping that. That's not how that works. The umpire called it. We're all in agreement. Alright, so... Our product is going to come down here. Our data cards. Let's say we put the silo... I don't know. Here-ish. Three of the products are going to come from the right to begin with. Um, this can have one of those lovely undergrounds. Then this can go here. Uh, 
If I make it sushi, even though there's no fancy sushi going on, then I can add the blank tech cards wherever I want. And no one can stop me. So we'll just go something like this. Let's grab some more undergrounds. The other belt could move left as well to let the new belt through. The other belt could move left as well. Oh, do you mean the one I move? No. This one? Oh yeah, I could have moved that to the left and this could have gone. But then this wouldn't. Unless, I don't know. Can I judge through approval? Only if you want to be judgy. Too late to move it now. Okay. Uh, slip second. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so on the very outside is going to be blank tech cards. So if we put this monstrosity here, and we don't bother using this Crastorio 2 only thing, uh, that's going to output... What do you uh, what do you call it? Satellite telemetry. I should probably have a container for the satellite telemetry, if only so that we can measure it to make sure that if it's ever backed up, we stop. I don't think we can connect wire to this directly. So we'll do that. Um. Let's see. I could actually just... If I don't mind squeezing an underground up through here... The first resource could come out this way. But I want it on a half belt anyway. Why don't I just... I think I like this. For starters. Bring this up here, and I want the input inserters for these resources to be relatively close to its chest, so that we can read from it. Let's cheat some wire. Doxilos, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't you also need satellites for telemetry? That's a good point. Well, there's going to be a bit more spaghetti involved. Uh. Uh. All right. So main bus, main bus, main bus. Two main bus items combined. Solid rocket fuel is already close by. Solar panel and radar. Jeez. Okay, I'm just... I'm not even going to worry about that until we've done everything else. It's fine. Alright, so... We're just going to go... Satellite telemetry, less than... it stacks to 50, doesn't it? If it gets to a thousand in the chest, we can stop. That's plenty. And we go... Heat shield LDS up this way. I guess I could put the... I could put it somewhere like here. Eh, whatever. It's not like 
this space is going to be used for much else. And rocket fuel, rocket control unit. It's going to be on the other belt. Rocket fuel goes in here. Oh, we can just combine that here. Let's immediately do one of these, I guess. Uh, except... Actually, I could squeeze it up through there. This is looking less and less planned. It's fine. So that's going to be like this. Actually, that doesn't look so unplanned, I suppose. Except for the part where we're squeezing it up through here. If I squeeze it up through that instead, it looks a bit more deliberate, I think. Hmm. Did I just take... Oh, that's RCU. Whoops. Oh, we don't have any solid rocket fuel yet, duh. Already got our electric furnaces. Now that's going to be even more spaghetti to try and get it back there. Or is it? Or is it? Underground. go here. Totally planned. Right from the start. You all saw it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Out of belt again. Solar panel plus radar belt? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Solar panel plus radar belt. That's so oddly specific. Uh, we need more assembly machines. Let's grab the prereqs. Stone, brick, iron plate, and probably some gears. What am I missing? Steel. But also automation cores. There we go. Now where was I? Once I need a... Uh, like an palette cleanser of reset, I'll go... Connect light oil. Let's grab some regular old belt. Maybe some not so regular old belt. That's a bit much. This Crastorio thing broke you? I'm vibing. Master Block, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Master Eight Lock. Hi, Tran. Why don't you make bots help you construct? We're getting there, eventually, one day. Maybe launch a rocket manually first before you create the spaghetti monster? <laughs> no. Never. Uh, let's do some belt up here. Get the rest of these machines. Why is this one missing? Uh, long arms. 
Don't you bug up me. Alright. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Oh, I see. I copied that. is going to go here. That's fine. I guess we'll put it in a chest like everything else. <gasps> no, 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 no. Stop. Bad. Belong on this side of the belt. SE will break me before K2 does. Holmanite is disgusting. K2 just makes it a million times easier. Hmm. I I saw a couple of things ahead of time. Well, apart from the crusher being able to delete anything, there's also converting things to matter. So voiding stuff can actually be kind of useful, converting it to other stuff. That's a lot of oxygen. Um, do we now have enough information that we can now bring our spaghetti components all the way from over here? I think so. And we can easily adjust it if this is not quite what we're looking for. How about up here? Not quite. Let's bring this one set higher. Or maybe more than that. About through there. That lines up perfectly. All part of the plan. Only King Best. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm out of jetpack fuel, and I didn't bring... I, I didn't bring the fuel thing with me. So we're walking. Rip processed fuel. Indeed. Let's get back over there. Give me the processed fuel. Oh, I meant to put the wood in there since it was... I just wasted like half a processed fuel by picking that up. Alright. And this can go down here, I guess. We did it. Alright. Belt. And belt. And belt. And so on. So does that just leave nothing but light oil? Except for making the satellite? I think it maybe does. Yeah, I think we're down to just light oil. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's light oil as well. Cool. Uh, let's go get it. Wait, let's get some more fuel first before I fall out of the sky again. Where are we going? Yoink, 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 and furthermore, yoink. 
chest the speed modules. Uh, it's waiting on solid fuel, which is waiting on light oil. Oh, chest, not check. I see what you did there. Uh, I mean, sure. Why not? How's our supplies? We got 2.5 mil coal, over 2 mil copper, over 8 mil iron. I think we'll be okay for a little bit. Let's grab our 37 steel undergrounds. That might run up. Ah! Bite a friendo, you gave me a little scare. Let's grab another 30 of these, just to be safe. And even more, uh, like a hundred of these. Alright. Where does this stretch to? Quite far. And... So far that I need to measure this out. All right. Where are we going? One more, I think, and then I'll turn left. So somewhere around here, and let's get light oil up there. How is our oil? Uh, neither empty nor full. We're short on petroleum. I guess we're not cracking fast enough. But I, I should be maybe making oil faster as well. I don't know, I'm a little bit surprised five refineries isn't enough at this point. Considering how much downtime we've had. Alright, let's get light... Uh, this way. How much light are we going to need? Oh, I can't... Well, how about this? Wait, 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 wait. I see damage. That's not that bad yet, but I need to remember to go check on it. Uh, how much light would this need, actually? It's not actually going to go full speed here. This is 20 per second. This is going to be like 120 per second. Okay, that's quite slow. I don't think we have to worry about the rate of throughput through the pipes. At least not yet. This is about where we want to turn the corner. And where is our new line? Is that it? I believe it is. That's actually a pretty good fit. Uh, Alright, we can stop handcrafting the undergrounds, I guess, for the moment. Let's go do the corners. I'm finding doing all of the corners last deliberately is, oddly enough, a good way not to forget any of them. we go. And the oil has beaten us to it. Fantastic.
Still not bad though, since the loop doesn't need to account for the whole build at that scale. Yes. And you can have the extras feed forward instead of back. Five ingots a second is only 50 plate per second, so a bit more than a blue bell. I may have missed something. But yeah, the base, uh, I, I'm pretty sure parts of it are able to overconsume some of our resources technically, but the whole thing won't be going uh, like full speed all the time or anything like that. Don't have any of these on me. Can I handcraft them? Yes. Yes, I can. Alright. So, solid fuel output seems inserter limited. Uh, could well be. What's our rate? Two per second. Well, it is accumulating. So, yes. And it doesn't seem to be... Uh, this machine is getting some, but I don't think it's going to accumulate at the end of the belt, maybe? Let's just not even wait to find out. Alright, there's our... Two of our inputs for this thing. So, satellite telemetry, blank tech card we've already done. Those go on the outside, actually. Therefore, I might squeeze these in like so. And then bring this back here. One off. Unfortunate. Did that turn it around? Yes, it did. Oh, this thing doesn't have power yet, either. Alright, let's get some substations up in here. And we're one off that being able to cover the other side. Rip. Uh, Mudinho? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Alright, whatever. Let's just put this here and here and here and so on uh, and whatever we'll have to do the satellite build here as well but for now LDS heat shield we should have had that ages ago well there's your problem probably nope that's not all Today, first rocket launch? Uh, possibly. Oh, we're supposed to finish in about three minutes. So maybe... How quickly can I make a satellite? I could handcraft the first satellite, right? Wait, do we not have... Yeah, we do. We've got the accumulated... Yeah, we've got everything. Why don't I just handcraft the first satellite? Um, how many radars do we need? One. Doesn't it need 50 in vanilla? Or am I thinking of something else? Let's grab glass. First one has to be a fish. No, we want the, uh... We want the benefit of launching a satellite. Get access to the navsat. I've been dying for that. I need 50 rocket fuel. Do we have that yet? 10 accumulators we definitely have. All of our rocket fuel... Oh, I've got 44. We're super bottlenecked on the oxygen. 
Alright, I need to build more of those. Um, let's grab the stack of accumulators. I think it's a stack. Oh, it's only 10. 50 LDS, 50 advanced circuit. LDS. It stacks to 50, that's nice. Small mercies. We just need seven solid rock fuel. And there's like two here. Alright, we really, really, really need to spam these atmospheric condensers. Let's get another uh, 10 before we build that other stuff. Electric, uh, electronic circuit, steel gear wheel, steel beam. I don't think I've got steel gear, steel gear wheel. Oh, yes I do. Fantastic. I haven't actually used it yet on the bus. Okay. What was I doing? Electronic circuit, multi-cylinder engine. We don't have multi-cylinders, but they're easy to make. Iron gear wheel, single cylinder, iron plate. I don't think I've used single cylinder much either. Oh, wait, there's a usage. And there's another one. Uh, I don't know why I have so many rocket control units in my inventory either. Alright. What are we making again? All the atmospheric condensers. May as well place those pumps. Do I have pipe? I do not. Got some underground pipe. Oh, they're a bit slow. Just a little bit. Multi cylinder, iron gear, single cylinder, iron plate. Two of those are together next to each other on the bus already. Um, I could do a little build somewhere just so that I can pick them up. I need to bring iron plate into it as well. Do I already have... I've got two of these together here. So if I just bring single cylinder engines together as well... Okay, we found it. We're going to do a little tiny spaghetti build to get our multi-cylinder engines automated. Uh, maybe not there. Damn it. cylinder and go. Fantastic. Alright, let's place those that we've already built. Uh, I also need some pipe while I'm handcrafting this. Let's throw that together as well. Should have done this sooner. I can't quite fit it here the way I want to. insert is actually fast enough to keep up. Am 
Nice. Let's get that rocket fuel. Let's get that satellite. Let's postpone this handcrafting until afterwards. Oh, wow. The jetpack doesn't reset your crafting time anymore. That's nice. Alright, satellite. How do I put in the satellite? Oh, I have to wait till this is done, don't I? Yeah. Uh, okay then. Let's just automate it in that case. We're just waiting on uh, solid rocket fuel, which is waiting on oxygen, which we are accelerating. Or if these please, that's not a whole lot. I could steal some speed modules. Uh, there aren't any speed modules. One. I think I need just two, actually. If I'm going to put it in one machine. Well, that'll help a little bit. Uh, atmospheric condensers. We can make... Six with almost no extra hand crafting. Why don't I go grab some steel? Bugs. And I also need uh, the big storage tanks. Pipes and underground's always the first thing I automate after belts. Yeah. Oh, we're out of plastic. Wait, no we're not. Yes we are. Kind of. Is it petroleum? It's petroleum. Yeah, we already knew that. That means... Trouble. I might just... Slow that down until we get our rocket fuel. Uh, what else was I doing? Rocket control units, get out of my inventory, please. Oxygen. And pipe. Just expand oil. We'll do that. One thing at a time. And I need some underground pipes, I think. Yes, I do. Run out of iron. Is that a problem? Maybe not yet. Halfway done with this build. And I can do the next six, the next quarter with almost nothing extra handcrafted. Why don't I put down all the regular pipes before I handcraft any more undergrounds? We do have a decent amount of... Each speed module gives us eight rocket tech cards. That's not bad, actually. We've got a decent amount on the belt already. And I 
think that's all the pipes. Whoops. That's all the big containers. We just need six, uh, nine more of these, actually. Whoops. One, two, three, with a no more handcraft. It's only two multi-cylinder engines each, actually. So this is actually more than it looks like. One, two, three, four. Uh, how many are we making? Nine? This is six, actually. Three to go. We need steel beam, multi-cylinder. I've got the steel... No, I don't. Steel beam... Grab this while I'm here. Oh, there was one other thing. Electronic circuit we've got. On two? I think I'm one off. There we go. Wait, no, I'm not falling for that. One more. Alright. Two more needed. No, you're good. Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Two recipes not set. Is that for the oxygen? Yes, it is. Because I misplaced them. Alright, as soon as we get this done, we expand oil. Making ten now. Oh, we're one, one over, are we? Okay, cool. Alright, uh, we still seem to be bottlenecking on oxygen, actually. Wait, is that what I think it- what the- that snuck up on me. Okay, I thought we had like a hundred or three hundred solid rocket fuel to go. So that happened, and that, wait, where's the blank tech cards? Oh, I was going to say, that is our, uh, final non-space science pack. If I had remembered to build that belt already. Here it comes. Aziz Light! Aziz Light? We did it. Fantastic. Now the real game begins. Uh, the real game begins tomorrow. Because we are actually only 12 minutes over. Got that done relatively quickly. I was really quite surprised to hear that uh, rocket launching. Last I checked, I mean, I guess we were bottlenecked. It's not that much light oil. It's 100 light oil per solid rocket fuel. Oh, it's light oil as opposed to a petroleum, and we had a bunch of light oil stored, even though we were out of petroleum. Our cracking isn't fast enough to balance it. That's why. Which means uh, getting rid of these inserters for plastic probably didn't accomplish anything, really. I'm going to save right after I do this, so I don't have to remember it. Just got to switch some light oil to the petrol recipe. Uh, I'll do the math on that. I think, you, I think you get more if you crack it instead. Like, you get more of everything if you do light. Alright, let's, especially with prod modules, perhaps, we'll see. Uh, let's find someone to raid. That's a pretty good point to end on. 
Who is streaming Factorio, I wonder? We got Mucky. I haven't raided Mucky in a minute. Let's do that. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. That'll be tomorrow. We'll continue with uh, our first rocket tech card research. Uh, check out the Discord at the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until then, do take care. Did I actually not type in the raid did I not press raid? You absolute derp. Professional streamer. Let's go. Oh, raid is already in progress. I'm blind. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. What the fuck, game? Oh. Drum roll. Drum roll. T-Hex. Fuck. Thank you for the ride, mate. You can with, with the...